us alone and stop giving us their problems. Honestly, I didn't think it was that bad. Like, I could see, like, the haze and everything, but it didn't really bug me. I don't know. I still went for, like, an hour-plus long walk with my dog. It didn't really, uh, affect me too much. It wasn't too bad. But that's what happens when you don't, uh, burn old growth in forests. Is you get these crazy out-of-control wildfires instead of just burning dead brush periodically to prevent fires from getting out of control and spreading, you know, the ma environmental activist would rather, like, this type of shit happen. Yeah, like, it was looking like Beijing out there today, but I don't know. Smoke has never really bothered me. Like, I kept getting these alerts and shit, like, saying, Oh my god, the air quality is in the code red zone. Like, bruh. I don't know. I didn't think it was that bad. I was fine. Dude, I think Larry Herb is gay. Like, dead ass. I think that dude is gay, right? Like, I'm pretty sure he actually is gay, so it makes sense for him to have the Pride logo shit. Kojima is making a documentary about himself? Of course he is, dude. He's an egotistical fucking crazy, like, just retard. I don't know, bro. Kojima is definitely high on his own fucking farts. 100%. DJ Aftershock with the two. Did you see the upper New York and New York City smoke, though? Nope. Is it worse than their normal smog? Two weeks until Final Fantasy. Wait, where'd it go? 16. Hype? That's right, bro. They'll probably drop the demo for that tomorrow because they said it's ready to go. So I would imagine that'd be like a little, ah, oh, you can play it right now kind of thing, you know? I could see that. Yeah, but New York's, like, right up against the Canadian border, so it makes sense that they have a bunch of smoke. Although, New York City's only, like, three hours from me, so that's what's wild to think about. Like, I always think of, like, New York City as being, like, a fucking ten-hour drive or some shit. It's not. It's, like, literally three hours from me. Like, 150 miles. It's not even far. And, I mean, you could, like, visibly see the smoke in the air and smell it, but I didn't really think it bothered me too much. I guess my eye kind of got a little itchy, but I was good otherwise.
three hours where the hell do you live dc bro like right at the virginia dc border it's like a straight fucking shot man it takes like three hours to get there without traffic Asuka with the five, the smoke is horrible in New York. I can't go outside without having a coughing fit, laugh my ass off. I love my climate activists. That's right, man. You gotta save the environment by letting it burn. Duh. We have to save the environment by allowing it to all just burn uncontrollably. That's how you save my environment. And my animals and plants. Just let them all burn to death. She's fucking stupid. Shit's crazy. These fucking people are dipshits. Climate activism is about as intelligent as, like, I don't know, bro. A short bus spelling bee. Yeah, bro, New York City wouldn't have to deal with this shit if Al Gore was right and they were underwater in 2012, so... Why couldn't you be right, Al Gore? They wouldn't have to be suffering through this right now. Yeah, Australia has, like, the fucking Nazi Germany fucking policies for their government. They're pretty fucking strict over there. Shadow Band Gang with a five. You starting Ghostwire tonight? Yeah, it's just uh, downloading. So I'm just doing something else instead of staring at a download screen. I'd like to actually watch someone play it, not in 240p, because cloud streaming cannot handle that game at all. Yeah, it's just downloading in the background right now. What? You didn't enjoy playing it on base Xbox Ones? Why not, man? FYI, that's what uh, Xbox's cloud streaming servers are based on, is uh, base Xbox Ones, fun fact. So, that's about the quality you can expect. And Bamaham Yom with the 2, is the Game Pass saga over? Unfortunately not, I wish it was. But, the new season of COD comes out in a week. So, I will be delivered. I will be delivered from the Game Pass voice lop very fucking soon. Thank the fucking heavens, bro. How much will the new season cost? I have no idea. Whatever the battle pass price was for last season, I'm sure. I have no idea. Shadow Band Gang with the two. Yeah, I can tell my eyes burn. Yeah, dude, that shit. I don't understand. Like, Microsoft. Dude, they just cut so many corners on their own cloud and, like, just digital services. Like, the fucking download speeds on Xbox Live are fucking abysmal compared to Steam and PlayStation Network. And it's like, y'all literally have more fucking cloud servers than fucking God. Like, Sony literally pays for your cloud servers, and their download speeds are faster than the ones you offer yourselves. It's like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. That shit crazy.
New generation with the two play 2042 instead. New season came out. Bruh. That's going to be a no for me. I may play that at some point, but honestly, I really do not miss playing Battlefield. If I'm going to be honest, I feel like Battlefield has always been one of those games I've kind of had to convince myself that I actually really like. Like, Battlefield is fun under very specific circumstances. Like, there's only like one or two maps typically per Battlefield game that I actually want to play on. But, I don't know. How I was simping? How was I simping for Battlefield? I mean, I guess the only thing you could say is simping is saying, like, it doesn't need a campaign, which I don't think 2042 having a campaign would have changed anything. The game still would have been shit, so... Classify that more as a cope than a simp, though, personally. Battlefield isn't a slot machine designed for teenagers and younger, unlike what? A slot machine? No, dude, that's Pokemon Go. You're getting the game mixed up. All right, let me boot up uh, Ghostwire Weeaboo real quick. Will with the two, glad to hear NYC is embracing that CCP. That's right, man. They get to uh, experience the communist hellscape that they want so badly. They can experience true communist smog. So I'm guessing this game probably plays better with a controller, right? of Tango Gameworks leave so like now they don't even have the studio head anymore and it's just a bunch of underlings so that's a gutted studio now okay what the fuck I don't care about the photosensitivity warning I'm not fucking retarded game let me skip this shit I'm stuck in the fucking, uh, game right now. I can't, like, move my mouse outside of it. Thank you. I'm not fucking stupid. I don't have fucking crippling light autism. You don't need to fucking warn me for 20 minutes. Minecraft has pink trees now, like what, cherry blossoms and shit? That's so pretty, man. Don't fucking care. Options. Let me put it in borderless window. Window full screen, vertical sync off, frame rate cap 60. Dude, what the fuck is this awful music? Ray tracing off. Dude, what is this trash ass music? All right. Is 
Is it gonna pop up? Ooh, it did. Okay, so let me see if there's actual difficulty-based achievements in this game. If there's not, I'm just gonna put it on easy. Or actually, if it's not a high number, then I'm gonna put it on easy. Achievements, let's see. Complete the game. There's no difficulty achievements. Or actually... Nope. Alright, cool. We're putting this bitch on easy. Oh my god, guys, I got a gift? No way. I heard Emoto. Are we gonna get some energy like... You're the best big brother I could have ever asked for. God, I wish I lived in Japan, man. It's just so cool. You know how old his sister is, right, Griffin? She's like 12? That's never stopped the Japanese to this day, man. They don't give a fuck about that over there. They're like, great. Fresh off the assembly line. They probably consider that to be a plus. Shadow Band Gang with the two. There is English audio. That's not bad if you want. Nah, man, we gotta play it authentically. That'd be cultural appropriation otherwise. I don't want to get canceled. Oh, damn, all that soy sauce is giving him fucking clogged arteries. God, man, I wish I lived in Japan. It looks so awesome. Can I go to Akihabara? I know that because I'm an anime fan. These graphics look straight off the PS3. Like, the character models do not match the environment whatsoever. He's wearing a fanny pack! I'd run too, man. What's 
なんだよおい寝ぼけたガキこの体よこせなんだよこの声そんな都合よくはいかねえか The nano machines. He got the fucking Bill Gates shot. Uh oh. What? Takashiro. I'm in the middle. Yeah, it's me. I didn't change anything to Japanese. I left it as is in the settings. That's how the developer wants you to play this shit, man. Authentically. Of course there's fucking school girls, bro. Bruh. What did I tell y'all? Oh my god, it's the guy on the cover art. Is he Jesus? Bro, if I wish I looked like Mad, I would just put a fucking mask on the fuck. What do you mean I wish I looked like that? I would just put a fucking mask on, bro. The Japanese wear masks when they go into like those porn shops and stuff because they want to hide their shame so people can't recognize them. Bro, can I like play the game now? Nope, not yet. Pick お前に選択肢などない。俺にしてない。いやだ。僕にはやらなきゃいけないことがある。やらなきゃいけないこと知るかい。うだうだ言うなら他を探す。お前は終わりだ。Ooh. I want you to make me piss and moan. 誰もいないぞ。Oh, the camera's on. Camera's been on the whole time. Hello. Oh, this shit's kinky, man. Hmm. 
Oh my god, I get to play now, guys. Crazy. Whoa. Bro, it's the Slender Man. None by all. Attack! Wow. Ew, it's like I'm playing fucking Zenyatta in Overwatch. Do I have to reload? Nope. Dude, it's like I'm Naruto casting jutsus. The finishing. Oh, I guess I can. Damn, man, an angry Japanese man yells at me if I would dare to walk off the path. Bro, it's like I'm actually in Japan right now, guys. Wonder if there's maid cafes. Shibuya? Yeah, no, for real, man. I need to go pick up some Pokemon cards. Trash. Hell yeah, dude. You will come across crystallized ether that can be destroyed. Okay, whatever. Don't fucking care. Die, baby. Another cutscene, let's go. Yo, it's those boxes they put the COVID patients in in China. あの世に連れ去るからそのまま自分たちの餌食にするかどちらにしてもあの魂は救われない止めなきゃあれ、man。あいつらはまだこっちの存在に気づいてない。見つからないようしゃがみながら背後に近づく。Bro, why is there the Legend of Zelda symbol when I level up?
いいぞ。こういうところはまれびとが多い。気をつけろ。まれびと。さっきから相手をしている化け物を、俺たちはそう呼んでいる。Where's the animu girl? Whirlwind Jutsu. Hell yeah. Dude, this is straight up first person Naruto simulator. Bunch of naked people running around, bro. <gasps> It's already fucking open. Oh, I gotta open it again. Dog, that shit's already fucking open. Oh my god, bro, I'm so scared. Burn, bitch. Dude, it feels like I'm playing Naruto fucking gang sign simulator. Galaxy for the two, Toyota, Nikon, Casio, Sharp. See, I speak Japanese. I didn't know Sharp was Japanese. Shadow Band Gang with the two. I recommend maxing charge speed first. It's slow as fuck. Alright. Alright. 
Dog, what is this anime ass storyline? Ooh. Oh shit, a kunai knife. This really is Naruto. Man, he used Chidori. Timothy Marco, the two, Nintendo, Capcom, Koei, Tecmo, and Konami. No, bro, Konami's not a real company. They're evil. まだ死ねない。一つだけ方法がある。体を汚せ。妹は助けてやる。あんたを信じろってのか。無理に消えるのか。さあな。祈れ。妹はマリー。僕は伊豆木明人だ。今さら自己紹介かよ。はい。経験だ。名前は捨てた。<笑> KK, bruh. She's gone. Bruh. Bro, that's cause uh Yu-Gi-Oh and Pachinko is uh stonks. Yu-Gi-Oh is the best thing Konami has ever put out. And that's on God. Name something better. Oh wait, you can't. Bro, what the fuck is this? Why are there like 8 million cutscenes, dude? Mari! Hi, 
僕は消えなかったのか神様に感謝するんだな<笑>ちった見られる顔になったじゃねえか黙れで体はもらっていいんだよな Yeah, let me use your body. Stay nice. Oh, I guess I was supposed to use the elevator. Cool. Could have just used that in the first place, but all right. Recharge my chakra. Mission complete. All right, man. Chapter two, trouble. Oh, no. Not trouble. Hito ga inai. Minna kia tanokana. Bro, if you keep having a bunch of cutscenes, I'm gonna be fucking gone too, because this shit is getting ridiculous, dog. Let me play the fucking game. I've killed like five enemies so far. Like, Jesus. Yeah, enough talk. Let's get moving. For real, dog. It's been enough fucking talk for the past 30 minutes. Alright, bro. Oh no! Throwing up gang signs. Cleansing no jutsu. Shadow Band Gang with the two, then skip, peasant. Nah, man, we gotta get the full story. I mean, this is like one of those weird fucking like story games where you get to like pay attention, unfortunately. Yeah, give me that shit, bitch. You got any money in here? Nope. Alright, well that was cool, I guess. Oh, search the shrine. Did I miss something? A fucking piece of paper? Fuck did I need that for? Kill it! 
Those dogs are assholes, bro. The Shebas. Gang, gang. Slurp? So we save them by sucking their souls into fucking paper? Gaming, right? Find a phone booth? Bro, what fucking century is it? Oh, shekels. Dude, what does a Japanese phone booth even look like? got to be down this way, right? It's the only logical thing. And then, like, over in here. Yeah, there we go. I'm so smart. Alright, now I'm going to get it. Ew, he types on a keypad with more than one finger? Gross. Bro, what? <laughs> What the fuck is this shit, man? Dog. Uh? Dude, you generation's very hostile because he is. You're broke! You're fucking poor! He's on the verge of losing his house, guys. Whatever the fuck this shit is. Alright, man. Where did it go? What the fuck? It just vanished, man. It fucking disappeared. Oh, they're back. Shekels. Oh, I guess his umbrella blocks fucking magic? Like, the fuck? Sick. Give me your groceries, whore. <laughs> oh my god, man. Huh. 
Holy <laughs> yeah, dude. Ichcho yaru ka. Dou daro. Whoa! Nani ga deru kana? Ichcho yaru ka. Well, I guess we figured out his name, bro. Or did they already tell it? Yo, I got the character. What the fuck? Yes. Feeding my gambling addiction. This isn't a gamble. I'm getting virtual plastic figurines. <laughs> Bruh. What did this shit do again? That looks so unnatural. I have no idea what the fuck that does, so... No thanks. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this how they lock doors in Japan? Give me your groceries, whore. I'm gonna take a shit. Oh, wait, they don't have toilets in Japan. Never mind. Where's the floor hole? Does he not have a fucking floor hole to take a shit in his, uh, bathroom? Oh, wow, he has an actual toilet. Fancy. A bow? あ、ボウ。持ってけ。こんなもの<笑><笑> Oh no, he's not a model citizen. I bet he didn't even pay taxes, man. That fucking asshole. He had one hell of a gaming setup. Oh, how edgy, bro. He's the guy that shot the Prime Minister in Japan. They're gonna do this with every single fucking item in here. Give me that shit, bitch. I'm gonna loot your place, bro. Head outside? Dog food? Good thing we're not in China, because the dogs would be the food. <laughs> oh, wait, that'd probably be more Korea, right? That's more of a Korean thing, I guess. 
マンションごと押しつぶす気か結果を破る方法があるはずだ探せ The Koreans are the ones with dog meat farms, not the Chinese. Oh my god. Guys, I'm scared. God, the aiming's bad. Curse these unnecessary amounts of doors. Oh, shit. What is the point of this shit, man? Yeah, more padding. Oh my god, this is horrible. Dude, the jumping is horrific. Oh my god. Oh, this game doesn't have fall damage. Nice. Oh fuck, dude, my leg is like cramping. Holy shit. Bruh, that hurts. Motherfucker. Touch the power inside of me. Drip. Hakaisho. 
先に進もうぜ何あれ猫あれは妖怪だな人がいなくなったブロー what the fuck? Drip. Consecutive Kieter. Ore touching out the Rikotoni Kizuita Nokamana. My Sekakara Yorimichi Stegoza. Konotari Okina Jinja Mato Nanika Yakuni Tatsmono Arkamo Shirenai. So when you give it Jinja is on Namonogar to a Moen Ikedo. Agarana is eh? 今使っている弓だって神社で見つけたんだ盗んだのかじゃあどうだろうなとのシーロー・ヤマ・シュライン That shitty fucking Sabaton song. Slurp. 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 Hallelujah. Drop to my knee. On that corner, Toriga. I am a joker, sir. So, how's everybody feeling about this game thus far? Crystal. Guess that glide's not very far. Can I not get back up? There we go. Bro, what the fuck? This fog mechanic is really irritating, man. Nether rice ball. Oh, so I'm supposed to go to the shrine. That's right. Oh, it's right here. What the fuck? Kore de mata kiri ga kieta. Ah, 
Oh, so getting the shrines opens the open world. Oh, okay. It's like a Ubisoft game. Got it. I mean, I guess this game's kind of interesting thus far. Like, I'm not bored. Other than when I had to watch 30 minutes of cutscenes, but... Aside from that, it's honestly not that bad. あの、どこ、あの、どう。いいぜ。コンテナ、そういう。塩せんべ。塩せんとこ。座敷わらし。Nether green tea. Nether dango. I'm more interested in man dangos, but you know. Where's Grandma? Grandma, where are you? Bro. Gotta find the key. Where the fuck are you, Grandma? Ooh, I got. It. Oh, it's not the key. Fuck! I thought I got the key, man. Give me that shit. ひどい目に遭ってなければいいけど。ずっと泣いてる。子供を泣かせるやつにろくなのはいねえよ。Am I missing something? さか仏壇を丸ごと隠してやがるとな。見てみろ。ところもがある。うん。この図だと右下あたりか。座敷わらしはここだね。So there's like a fake room somewhere, but I 
guess it's this way. It's the only thing that makes sense. Can you uh, open that shit up again? the fuck, man? What did I find? Dude, it said I found something, but I don't even know where the fuck it went. Right here. Oh, okay. Fuck. I'm retarded. ザスキワラシはこんなやつはいいんだ。ゲンゲン。Offer some Shino sent. Oh, okay. More Jiu da Karane. Yep, a cool one. Tell the old woman what happened. All right, Grandma. I need to, I guess, find one of those phone booths. Oh, cool. That's convenient. I have no idea what doing this does. Does it like level you up or something? Oh, 
Oh, only 240,000 to go. Hell yeah, man. Is that it? Hell yeah, dude. We're making great progress. So what was that shit called? Like your charge ability? Ah, the speed boost. Ooh, a large shrine. You know, I like them big. Fuck, Slender Man. Slurp. Give me monies. Hmm. Oh, there's Slender Man. I saw it at the two summer games fest stream tomorrow. Probably not, because I have work. So most likely not. They're doing it in the middle of the fucking day, which is really stupid, but... So most likely not, but if I'm free, then maybe. I may, if I do do it, it'll be like, if I have to go, then I just have to go. Fuck, dude! The anime bitch is coming after me.
おい新しい技を覚えられそうだぞああそうかそれでは、シャドウバンゲンの2、everything you eat permanently increases health。ナイス。アロー・デルガスタの2、we need a drip check on that fanny pack。Bro, that shit's an L. It's not even designer. The only way you can get away with wearing a fanny pack is if it's designer. That's it. And Rakenzi with the 2, no fall damage on a Japanese man. Unrealistic, 0 out of 10. Well, technically he is already dead, so he can't kill himself. Unfortunately. FBI with the 10, watch this. What is it? Vosh? Oh, God. Jesus. That's some real cringe right there. And oh, the camera's on with the two. Is Ghostwire any good? I mean, it's okay so far. It's very reminiscent of every single Ubisoft open world game you've ever played. You unlock the tower, aka the shrine. You get the next area of activities. You move to the next shrine, get the next area of activities. Do I have to donate? What does it do? Oh. You get a special ability. Yo, what a fucking slew. He didn't actually want anything. Ooh, the big red balls. Fire flame? So if you eat items, it permanently increases your health. Okay, I get it. I get it. I don't fucking care. Oh my god, bro. Why do I need to watch an animation for map icons to pop in? Tanuki? Nanika, you said? ああ、そうだ。警察は嫌いか。いや、その割には口が悪いなと思って。警察なんてこんなもんだよ。<笑><笑> Exciting stuff, man.
からは追えねえな迂回するぞ普通の人形がなんで宙に浮くほどの力を持ったのかなさあな殺人鬼の霊でも乗り移ったんだろう B 級映画の見過ぎだよ DVD はよく見てるかなサブスクじゃないんだ何か言ったかHow much longer do I have to fucking follow this thing, bro? Like, jeez, man. Again? Holy fuck, dude. Like, blimey. Fuck, why didn't he climb up the ladder? Oh, you have to literally press fucking LT to climb? Why? Uh oh, anime girl is my weakness. Throwing up gang signs. Holy shit, man. How fucking long do you have to follow this damn thing? Why can't I do anything? All right, so up. Why is it working this time? Dude, this is fucking weird, man. Burn it. Jinja no rei ni ningyo o todoke te. 本当のことを教えてあげなきゃ人形のせいで死んだと勘違いしてたからな本当は守ってくれてたのに Dude, I went 62 meters that entire time It's just literally with all the fucking bullshit of following that doll It took like fucking 20 minutes
No, I lost the doll. Fetch me their souls. Is there a phone booth around here? Pretended to care about the quantum TV drama to find the quick buck. I barely even fucking talked about that shit compared to some people. The fuck? I barely even milked that shit. Dude, Review Tech USA will make a video on Quantum if he, like, farts. And it makes a weird noise. I probably should have milked the quantum TV drama more. It was easy fucking views, man. There's a lot of shit I should just talk about the cash in on, to be honest. Like, shit. <gasps> you can pet the dog, bro! Thanks, mister. Is he gonna turn into like some demon? Oh, big ups, homie. And some people say dogs are not better than fucking cats. Would a cat literally give you fucking gold coins? I didn't think so. Griffin only called it out when the drama was over? So you mean I waited to make a video on something when the entire situation was actually done versus making 85 videos in real time? Wow. You got me, bro. I waited for the entire situation to be finished versus rushing to a conclusion. Damn, I should have done better. Fuck. Let's see what the cat gives me, man. He doesn't give you shit. He is bitches about not being able to fucking take a nap. Shit. 
疲れたあんた何もしてないだろう So where's my objective over this way? Dogs are too stressful? How is a dog stressful, bro? Dogs are like some of the best stress relief. Like hanging out with your dog is a fucking fat W. Is getting more health, or is it because I'm in a different region? Yeah, you know what they say, man. Don't trust people who don't like dogs. I strongly believe that. God, I love bullying little girls, bro. That's base. Wonder if I can level up. Yup. How do you get Magtama? また強くなれた。少しは手伝えよ。甘やかしたせいで死なれたら意味がないだろう。力を使え。見えないものを炙り出すんだ。工事現場か。何か感じる。調べるぞ。まだどこかにいるはずだ。Oh, uh, so I guess I have to go to the shrine. Um, there is this phone booth, which I probably should use. So scary. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> yeah, slap a bitch if you have to tell her twice. Oh, 
求するんだ Damn, this bitch has a lot of health. You can't carry any more, so that means I need to drink them. Oh my god, you have to like open your fucking menu every single time? Are you shitting me? Drip. Tokura no Kirimo Haritasta, Kagedi and Yukazo. Trying to figure out how to consume. So that's to swap items. How do you uh, fast consume them? This shit's fucking weird. Uh, controller. Where's the, uh... So switch consumable, use consumable, all it does is switch. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I guess you can only like eat them when you're missing health. So let's see. Danger Zone Gaming with the five, you should be able to, wait, you should jump back on ESO now. The new DLC is dope as fuck. Um at some point I may. But we gotta play this shit now. Give me monies! Gaming. And not an eye with the two I know to consume their souls a piece of paper. That's right, man. What better way to hold souls than a fucking soggy piece of paper? Works every time. It's the most efficient way.
君が悪いな今はどこでも君が悪いぞ気にするな駅か人もいないし電車も来ない町が死んでる証拠だ Let's see. Timothy Marco with the two failed fanboys offering free money on Dark Souls? <laughs> Scam? Sure, why not? Is there not like a grapple point? That's the thing that's kind of irritating, man, is I wish you could just use your grapple ability whenever the fuck you want versus having to look for a little spooky ghost to be able to grapple on to. So that's kind of annoying. Like, I can't get up there. See, there's a fucking spooky ghost, but I don't know if I can reach that. Great whistle. Yeah, he's too high up. I can't uh, grab onto him. Oh, well, I guess I can do the main mission. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Cargo shorts. A fat Japanese guy. Those don't exist.
こを離れよう。Pride slide. So let's see. Timothy Marco with a five is offering free money and giving out his Discord user. I mean, you can ban him if you want. I don't fucking care. That's a free promo, which ain't gonna fly, man. You gotta pay for that shit. I Siler with the two Doom and Halo grapple spoiled all of us. I know, man. I don't understand why you would make like a grapple system and have it be super fucking restrictive, especially with magic fucking abilities. Like the fuck. Place the cucumber. I'm gonna commit suicide. What in the actual fuck, man? Kappa. Kyuri, you ate it. Ah, slowly it's coming closer. You fucking rag. Come on. I'm not going to let you leave me. Okay. Well, I guess now I can upgrade that, uh, thing. Nice. Nice. Now I need five more skill points. Fuck.
can't go that way, so I guess I gotta go in here. Oh, come on, bruh. Really? Gang signs like a motherfucker. Yeah, we're not going to see shit from Elder Scrolls 6, man. That game's not going to come out for another 5 to 10 years, most likely. Because after Starfield releases, they're going to focus on, like, DLC for that game. So, Elder Scrolls 6 ain't coming anytime soon, unfortunately. As much as I wish that were the case, it's just not likely, unfortunately. Shadow Band Gang with the five. There's a dodge in the first skill tree if you don't want to block. All right, I'll check it out, man. Oh, another fat guy. They don't exist. Man. Obesity is not real in Japan. Thought you shit. You ain't shit, bitch. Japanese hate fat people, bro. I'm surprised they're even a thing in this game. I guess that's why you kill them. Never mind. Well, I guess this will put me right over by the gate, so that's good. Yeah, I can see how this game is going to get very repetitive. 
already. I'm already at that point where it's starting to feel a little repetitive with the combat. See, Z or but the two Griffin we the chat showing our pride support. That's right, man. Just like Xbox did by saying that gay people are going to hell. And I know that's not actually what they said, it's just a funny joke. Did y'all hear about the uh pride church thing? I saw that shit on Instagram today. That shit was weak as fuck, bro. People are losing their fucking minds over that. What's guys with that? Basically, there was this church that posted, like, we celebrate Pride Month or whatever. And, um, basically, um, the church got struck by lightning and burned down to the ground. But yeah, basically there was this church that was like, we celebrate Pride Month, hashtag Pride, or some shit like that. And then the church got struck by lightning and burned to the ground. But yeah, that shit was fucking funny, man. Talk about irony. And I mean, what's the church gonna say? How could they not say that it's divine judgment, you know? Because they claim that God, you know, punishes sinners. But it's like, bruh, are they gonna come out and say that he punished us? No. So what is it gonna be? I mean, it's just really hypocritical, bro. <laughs> like, it's funny as fuck. It's a funny ass situation. Like, the irony is great, dude. The irony is fucking great. Because, like, the church on one hand is going to claim that it wasn't an act of God, but on the other hand, it's like, bruh, don't y'all literally preach that God acts out against sin? Like, the fuck? <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't know. But, yeah. People were losing their shit over it, man. They're like, oh my god, there's so many homophobes. And it's like, bruh, you can point out how funny something is without being homophobic. Like, the irony is just really good, in my opinion. Is there a phone up here? Yes, okay. I'll cash in one more time. Oh, I don't have any, I already did. So, that means I need to go here, skills. Upgrade this. Okay. And then you said there's a dodge. Yeah, I don't 
see it. Oh, there we go. Don't have enough. Ikesoda. てっとりさあどうぞ。感謝しろよ。So let's see Timothy Marco the 5 RTU started drama with Mo Melanie Mac? I don't know who that is. Over her being happy that the church caught fire, calling the Bible a book of fairy tales and all that. I'm sure, man. Time to slurp up them souls. I wouldn't like her. Why is that? Is she an OnlyFans chick? God made him fat. Bruh. I don't think God makes people fat. I think Ronald McDonald makes people fat. Or the Burger King. Melanie Mac is religious with tattoos. Yeah, that is uh, quite the ironic combination, man. Was she like always like ultra religious or was it like she already had the fucking tattoos and then became religious? Cause I mean, if that's the case, then it's a little different. But if you're like claiming to be like this, you know, ultra religious person, and then you get tattoos. It's like, did you not read the fucking book? <laughs> like, the fuck? My favorite thing, though, is still people who get Bible verses tattooed on their body. It's like, bro, you cannot get more fucking just like, dog, what the fuck are you doing than that? Like, <laughs> that shit always makes me laugh. Eating a stick of butter? What the fuck? Is she on like keto or some shit? Don't they eat like straight up butter all the time? But what diet is that where they like tell you to eat sticks of butter and like uh, bacon every day? What fucking diet is that? I think that's keto, right? I've seen people eat straight sticks of butter, and it's like for some fucking diet, I'm pretty sure. Which, butter's not actually bad for you, because it's like, just, it's fat, which... 
you know, some fat is not bad. And it's not trans fat either, which not fucking sexual trans, but like doesn't matter. It's keto? That's what I thought. I thought, yeah, like, keto is the thing where you just eat meat and, like, vegetables, right? You just, like, pound fucking meat and, like, butter and... I think you can have dairy as well, but not much. But, yeah. It's, like, just straight up meat for the most part. Some vegetables and, like, animal byproduct. Oh, nice. Oh, shit, I'm Drip. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Drip out. I got my pearls on. So I saw that the five tattoos are against religion. Well, mine are, that's for sure. Family in Texas won't be happy. Yeah, no, they definitely are. Like, it, there's a verse in the Bible. I don't know it off the top of my head, but, like, there's literally a fucking verse, like, that says, like, you shouldn't permanently uh, deface or mark your body, basically. Because, like, you're made in God's image, and to, like, alter that image is an insult to God, basically. What am I looking for? Oh. Was that it? Just do a grid pattern. さっき見失ったやつだ。地下に降りていったら、そこに奴らの拠点があるのかも。何回も逃がして溜まるかよ。Head to Shibuya Underground. Alright, I can't keep going up. So, that means... Nippon Banzai! ここに来ちゃったな。もう酔わない。行くぞ。
Yeah, but on the topic of like the tattoo shit, I'm sure like in a long list of fucking whatever sins or whatever the fuck, I'm sure that is like probably one of the least offensive things you could probably do. Like I doubt that shit actually would fucking even like. I don't know. The sin of sloth. Like, DSP, I think, is worse. <laughs> That's a real fucking offense to God, bro. Becoming, like, DSP. Do I have any skills I can buy? Let's see, I saw where the five, my left hand tattoo is pretty bad. I'm looking it up. I just pick random stuff off on, or on IG. I have it posted all. Yeah, I remember looking at it, man. Is that the uh, like anime devil girl one or whatever the fuck? And one with the one. You're broke! Nasty. You're fucking poor! That is the greatest sin, bro. Being broke. <laughs> なるほど。そんなところばっかりだな。よし、次。よし、次。Ironically, the worst sin, I believe, is pride. Because pride is like the equivalent of considering yourself to be on the same level as God, basically. Ironically enough. I believe that pride is considered to be the worst of sins. Actually, let me look that shit up. I'm pretty sure that is the case. What is the worst of the seven deadly sins? Yep, pride. Known as hubris from ancient Greek. It is considered the original and worst of the seven deadly sins on almost every list, the most demonic. It is also thought to be the source of the other capital sins. Pride is the opposite of humility. Because, like, I'm pretty sure that was, like, the whole thing with, like, the devil and shit is, like, you know, he had so much pride that he thought he could become God, basically. And, you know, that's what caused him to fall. So, like, that's what I always thought. It's, like, kind of ironic, man. But, hey, you know...
twice the pride, double the I think I'm above God? Unfortunately not, man. I don't have reason to think that. I don't have any, like, superpowers or any shit like that, my guy. I'm just a gamer out here. The only superpowers I have are in a video game. の番犬ってやつか。そっちじゃないな。化け物退治の方だよ。ナムナム。大事そう。いや、なんか、ちょっと。いや、そう。いや、なんか、ちょっと。いや、そう。いや、なんか、ちょっと。いや、そう。いや
It's me. Oh, I have no idea. Who this is. Yeah, it's his body. It's the only thing that makes sense. Nani? <sighs> Brush your teeth, homeboy. Oh, come on, bruh. Huh? You're fucking wrecked. Onita! Onita! Mata was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little I need to make that a fucking uh, sound effect. That dumb bitch going, get fucking ragged. Griffin, go look at Melanie Mac. You'll become straight again. I don't want to, bro. So, what was her take on the situation that had Review Tech raging? Other than the fact that she's just Christian, which I know he, like, hates. Like, that's the thing, bro. Review Tech has gone mask off with, like, his hatred of, like, fucking, you know, right-leaning people, uh, religious people, just, you know, anything that's not a fucking ultra-left-wing atheist he fucking heavily dislikes. She called it based, and that's it? Who fucking cares? Like... Nobody was killed in the bur like burning of the building. Who gives a shit? It's just a fucking building. Would Rich give a fuck if a 7-Eleven burned down? No. Should we watch the video tonight? How long is it, I guess I should say. Did he, like, make a video on it? Weaponized schizophrenia with a two-way what burned down? So basically there was this church that made, like, a post celebrating Pride Month. And then the church got struck by lightning and burned to the ground like completely fucking just flattened in flames like completely fucking destroyed Oh, come on, bro. Really? Do I have to play stealth? Lol, talk about the. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, the irony is fucking insane. Because what is the church going to come out and say? That God doesn't act in that way? Like, God's not real? That was just lightning? Like, they're kind of in a fucking shitty situation from their perspective. Because it's like, bruh, on one hand, you're, like, claiming to be a church. So you have to acknowledge that that was probably an act of God. But at the same time, you would have to admit that God's pissed off at you. Like, what do you say in a situation like that, dude? That's what's crazy. Alright, so how do I get more arrows, or can I not?
All right, so let's see. I sell her the five, so tattoos, and she's conservative. We must watch this video. That's going to be my first wife. There you go, man. Hit her up. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two <laughs> seems well deserved to me. They're blasphemy. I mean, dude, this is the thing that I think is funny. It's like, why the fuck is a church like actively encouraging a sin? Like, I will never understand that shit, bro. Like, it's one thing to be like, oh, any sin can be forgiven. Like, that's a different thing. But for a church to, like, actively celebrate a sin? Like, that's just weird, dog. Like, you're not even religious at that point. Especially not a fucking church. You don't get to pick and choose what you think is a sin. Alright, do I just have to run? I'm guessing so. Like, it would be a completely different thing if, like, the church was like, oh, you know, even if they're sinners, they can still be, like, saved or whatever. You shouldn't, um, you know, discriminate or hate against them. You should still love your fellow man regardless. Like, whatever. Like, that would be fine. But it's like, bro, you can't pick and choose what is and isn't fucking sin as a church. Like, you got to go by the book, bro. Like, I don't know how on one hand you can be like, yeah, the Bible is the word of God, and then be like, well, God didn't actually mean this. It's like, what? Bruh. That shit's pretty ironic. Oh shit, my Twitter is going crazy. Some nothing, 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 nothing. One of the fucking restock accounts I'm on. It's like a bunch of junk, bro. Who cares? L. Didn't need to check that. It's like a bunch of fucking anime soundtracks and shit. It's like, bro, why are you posting that? Bro, look at the frame rate. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. They weren't kidding about this being a shitty PC port. On me. Holy shit, man. Jesus. Timothy Marco the five he said she was doing wait he said she was dog whistling for the extreme right-wing Christian nationalist because she said it was a warning shot that no one was inside 
I mean, that's the thing, dude. It's like, I, yeah. I don't know. Like, that's I don't know how you could claim to be like that church and be like, oh, that yeah, wasn't an act of God because it's like, bro, isn't that like the thing you're fucking preaching anyway? Like, I don't know. I don't see that as a dog whistle, bro. Like, I, I don't know. Review Tech has openly made it clear he hates people that are right-leaning and religious. Like, it's not a secret at this point. He doesn't hide it. So it's like, yeah, anything's going to be that if it dares to disagree with his worldview. I don't know. I think that's extremely narrow-minded to be like, oh, anyone who has a different political ideology than me and anyone who is religious is a fucking idiot. Like, I think that's really fucking just brain dead. That is such a stupid, narrow-minded view of the world. Cause like I remember his COVID rant, bro. Do you guys remember that shit? Do y'all remember the COVID rant where he like fucking exploded on people for not wanting to wear a fucking mask and now come to find out that the mask literally did fucking nothing? So it's like, bruh, he was completely fucking wrong. Like, ever since that shit, I think COVID, like, ever since COVID, he's become so political. And it's like, bruh. I don't know. Like, I used to be able to watch his streams, but it's like, they get into, like, politics. Because, like, he now has, like, his editor on or whatever all the time. And it's, like, really irritating to listen to both of them talk. Like, his editor is, like, painfully fucking unfunny. It's not wrong. No, dude, that's the thing is like, I don't give a fuck if y'all are right leaning, left leaning, centrist, whatever the fuck. It doesn't matter. Like, who you fucking vote for and shit is your business, not fucking mine. Like, as long as you're not being a fucking pushy asshole about your beliefs and like shoving it down my throat, I honestly could not give a fuck. I'm perfectly fine to have a conversation with anybody. I don't know, dude. It's just. There's no fucking, like, civil conversation. It's literally, you're on my side or you're my fucking enemy, bro. It's just really fucking stupid. And I just... I do find it ironic, man. Like, Review Tech will call out, like, Christianity and shit, but I fucking guarantee you he would never go on a rant about Islam. Or Judaism. He wouldn't touch that shit with a fucking 10-foot pole. Like, Judaism and Islam have the exact same fucking viewpoint on the LGBT stuff. He won't touch that shit. I would bet fucking millions of dollars on that shit, bro. He would never go on a rant against, like, Islam or Judaism. At fucking all, man. It's only because, like, it's accepted on social media platforms and by, like, super, like, leftist people that it's okay to attack Christianity that he does that. Like, that's the only religion he'll go after. Oh my god, bro, so uwu kawaii. Hell yeah, bro. But I don't know, man. I just like, I really strongly dislike this whole fucking like, you know, just anger towards people who disagree with you. It's just really fucking anti, uh, what is it? Fuck it. Dude, I can never think of the fucking word I want to say. Anti-productive. There we go. Like, it's not productive, dude. You're not winning anybody over. You're just acting like a fucking prick. You're, like, literally basically just as bigoted and ignorant, quote-unquote, as the people you're trying to call out, supposedly. Ooh, kawaii. 
So why is it in a game about magical powers do I not have my magical powers anymore, like less than two hours in? We're already doing this shitty fucking gameplay trope. Can I not go in? Oh, do I have to purge this gate? Great whistle. Okay, how am I supposed to attack him? Bro, seriously? I can't fucking attack this guy? Can I melee him at least? Nope. Bro, what fucking gives? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Is there some ammo over here? Nope, shekels. All right, I guess I got a stealth. There he is. Walk somewhere, bro. How do I get in there? Oh shit, I wasn't even supposed to. Never mind. I'm fucking retarded. Bruh! Where's the fucking ammo? Dude, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I lost them. No, you can't punch them. You can't even scan the area to see where they are. Bro, what? Oh my fucking god, dude. Dude, this is so fucking lame. 
Yeah, but you can only backstab if they haven't discovered you. And you can't, like, scan for them either. I made it. Hell yeah, dude. Let's see. Weaponized schizophrenia with a five. We live in an age of false prophets. Everyone has a mic nowadays, so the truth about anything gets distorted. I think that's a prophecy. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. I mean, false prophets have always been a fucking thing. People think, I don't know, dude. I don't really want to get in the whole fucking religious debate, but it's like, yeah, ever, dude. So long as there's ever been any form of religion, people have looked to manipulate it to, like, take advantage of people and deviate from the actual fucking teachings. Uh, Lord we'll Pothead Investor with the two. What is Rich saying now? That's a, What's this about a church? Basically, there was this church that like posted a pride celebration post that got struck by lightning and burned to the ground. <laughs> so basically, apparently this girl made a video saying like it was God, you know, issuing a warning. And apparently Rich is like calling her like a extreme white nationalist right winger fucking dog whistler some shit. I don't fucking know, dude. Basically, that's it. But like it's known at this point that Rich does not like right leaning people and religious people because he's ranted about them several fucking times. I silent with the five. Yeah, that video is 20 minutes. I mean, we can check it out, I guess. What's. I got. No, I'm just look over here. I silent with the five. Rich has tons of videos about Alex Jones, and he'll never go after the. Oh, of course not, bro. He says he, like, he watches the Young Turks, unironically. He thinks Chunky Yogurt is an intellectual. Uh, <laughs> Shadow Man Gang with the five. Had the same problem. I had to go to a shop and buy more arrows. It's so dumb. Yeah, this is like just really fucking stupid. I don't understand the segment. Uh, weaponized Schizophrenia with a two. Remember when the George Floyd mural got hit? Yeah, I do remember that. I do. Anime, anime. Wire in. Bro, what the fuck is this shit? Why haven't I gotten this before? Groovy with the two. I'm telling you, Rich lost it after the Ackman stuff. He definitely got a lot worse, but if you look at his COVID rant, that is, I think, when he lost it. Man. His COVID rant, I think, is when he, like, really went down the political route, and then the Quantum TV shit further extenuated it. Damn, are they getting married? Are we watching a uh, Oromo? Mm. 
ありがとう大事にするね The quartering drove him insane. He can't stand the fact that half of his audience were conservative and turned against him. It's like, H yeah, dude, I just, I don't understand, bro. Like, it's one thing to voice your opinions. That's fucking fine. But I would never, well, unless they're a fucking communist, then they are fucking mentally retarded and it's not worth arguing with them. But if, like, somebody's, like, a Democrat or left-leaning or disagrees with me on something, like, I'm not gonna fucking sped the fuck out and be like, get the fuck out of my chat, I don't want you subbed to my channel, never come back, like... That's just so fucking stupid. I, I don't know, man. If anything, I want to keep that person around to have a chance to convince them otherwise. But it's like, I just, I don't understand, like, drawing that line in the sand of just, like, straight up fucking, uh... Almost like discriminating against people with different beliefs. It's just stupid. Like, you know, I would never be like, oh, if you're Muslim, get the fuck out of my chat, bro. Allah is a false god and Muhammad is a false prophet. Like, it's just so fucking stupid. Like, I don't know. That's just an ignorant mentality to have. Like, you can have your own personal beliefs and, you know, ideologies and all that type of shit. Like, it has no influence on mine. I don't give a fuck. Unless you're a communist, then you're just fucking stupid. Because you're literally advocating for people to die by the millions. Like, you're literally advocating for the death of millions of people in mass. あの女の人仲間なんだよね。リンコのことか。リンコ。そうだね。どうとも言えん。どういう意味？仕事仲間だ。仲がいい必要なんてあるか？お、なんだ？わお。Walter. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, the Nazis were fucking socialists. No matter how much, like, fucking lefties want to cope about that shit, they were fucking socialists. The National Socialist, like, Workers' Party or some shit like that. It was, like, the official name of the Nazis. It's like... <laughs> it's literally in the fucking name! Oh my god, bro. Shit's wild, man. Shit's absolute fucking wild. It's like alternative facts. <laughs> alternative fucking facts, bro. Yeah, that's right, man. The party's just completely switched. What the fuck is that thing? Eat up! Holy frame rate! 
The only thing that's dying around here and turning into a ghost is my fucking framing, dog. Jason Valderrama with the two thoughts on Marxism, it's fucking dumb as hell, man. It has never worked in any fucking instance that it has ever been tried to be, like, uh, installed. Like, it's a fucking fool's dream at this point. There's not a single political ideology that has ever led to more death, poverty, and destruction than fucking Marxist ideologies. There is nothing redeeming about it whatsoever. The only way to actually implement a Marxist system successfully would be a massive slave labor force that generates fucking income and resources for the civilian population. That is the only way you could ever fucking get that shit to work, man. Otherwise, it's just literally a fucking joke. It's just a grapple point. I didn't know if I did. So, May 1st, Burrs with the Five. Apparently, the only thing that didn't burn in the church was the church Bible. Pretty... Oh, sh really? Bro, that's creepy. Like, that's actually kind of fucking creepy, man. Seriously? The only thing that survived was, like, the actual Bible? Dog, that's weird. That's fucking weird, dude. Okay. <laughs> Bro, that's wild. <laughs> that shit's pretty crazy. That's like two major coincidences. That's pretty wild, man. Did they actually fucking, like, post a picture of the Bible that survived? Like, I I'm genuinely curious. Like, that just sounds fucking weird, man. Jeez. I'll get to your super chat, man. I got a couple to read. I just saw that pop up in the actual chat. It caught my attention. I'll check the other super chats in a second. Let me just get this uh, gate or whatever the fuck. 
こんなところにありやがった Oh, one of these again. I'm an Ellie. Damn, bro. Those things are tough, man. So let's see. Weaponized schizophrenia with a vibe. Alternate facts. So, gaslighting. They like to focus on Hitler's social policies, but not his economic policies. Hmm, I wonder why. I don't know, man. Maybe it's an inconvenient truth. I don't know. To quote uh, our boy Al Gore. <laughs> Groovy with the two. You're wrong, Griffin. It just has to be done. Or it just hasn't been done right. That's right, man. If we try it, we can do it right, guys. Come on. Duh. We can do it better. Just give it a chance, guys. I promise it'll be different this time. Skirt. That was not an accident. I feel like the move in this game is just going to be to get really fucking OP by grinding side activities and leveling up, and then uh, just cooking through the story. Really, the bike is blocking it? I need to find a phone booth. care about objective markers, bro. Alright, maybe there will be one along the way, but if not, then I'll just go to that one. I need that money. Let's see. I saw with the two low tier god for president slogan. Friction? That's right, man. Now that's something we can all get behind. Oh, 
転送した例の数が1万人を超えたぞけど喜ぶのは早いまだ全体の 5% にも満たない引き続き頑張ってくれ Get back to work for I got 8000 XP All right, yeah, I got a lot of skill points now. So what's the shit dodge? I don't really need to dodge in midair. Let's up my uh, damage. Oh, that's actually really good. Shit. I feel like that's probably the best. Or, fuck, I don't know. It's tough, man. I feel like blast radius is probably going to be more useful. And May 1st burst with the five. Some stupid reporter put the Bible surviving story from another incident in the art. Okay, my bad. Should have read, but not sure why it was relevant. I guess just like a similar scenario. I don't fucking know. But yeah, that would have been fucking crazy, man. Because like, if you see the video... Like, that shit does not... <laughs> that shit does not just, like, burn down. Like, it gets incinerated. Like, completely fucking incinerated. Alright, he doesn't have a bandana. There it is. bandana <laughs> A kibby dango? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? What the fuck is a kibby dango? Does this bitch sell one? Nope. <laughs> So, Kibby Dango is what I'm looking for. I need a shop, I guess. Oh, fuck. Let's go buy the stupid Kibi Dango. Kibi Dango. Alright. Give the dog a Kibi Dango. Alright. Oh, I gotta follow him? You already know there's gonna be like 800 enemies along the way. Bitch, you already know. Why are you 
RIP my frame rate, man. My frame rate is fucked right now. Dude, does he have nipple rings? What the fuck? Damn, bro. What the hell? Goodbye, homo. Let's see. So, weaponized schizophrenia with the two is still creepy that the lightning hit the chair. Oh, definitely, man. Like, the timing is, like, fucking impeccable. Like, that shit's crazy. And the way it burned down, too, like, that shit's crazy. Marco G with the 10. Hey, Griffin just turned 19. I have 1,500 saved up. Where should I put the money or what should I invest the money on? Well, that's kind of a loaded question, man, because if I knew what to invest money in, then everybody in this chat would be a millionaire. But, I mean, your safest bets typically are just sticking it in like an S&P 500 index fund and just forgetting about it, basically. I mean, that's the best way to, like, invest. If you're looking to day trade then, um, you know, that's different than, like, investing. But, I mean, you have two options right now. You could stick it in a CD, which is a uh, certificate of deposit, which will pay you about 4 to 5%, depending on your bank, per year that you leave the money in there. But during that time, you cannot withdraw it. So, if you want to, like, put money away just to earn, like, a guaranteed interest rate and you have no intention of spending it, I'd say that's a pretty safe bet right now. Like, 4 to 5% is a really good return on investment, especially considering the fact that nobody really knows what the fuck the stock market's going to do anytime soon. And then I think you have to leave it in there for about 18 months to get that rate. So after 18 months, if the market, like, drops, you know, goes up, evens out, you know, economic conditions get better... You can choose to like either keep it in a CD and just roll it over or you can pull it out and then put it into an actual investment. But I mean, the best way to look at investing is just to put your money in something that earns a certain like return each year and you just forget about it and let it grow over time. So 
What I would do is either just stick it in like an S&P 500 index fund or throw it in a CD, personally. If you're just looking to invest it, I'd say those are probably your safest bets. But happy birthday to you, man. Yeah, that's right. I need the 1500 to pay my bills, the internet bill, the electric bill, my taxes. You have a good chunk in Funko Pops. I wish you all the best, man. Dude, I don't know what the fuck's up with my frame rate all of a sudden. This game is bugging. This frame rate fell off like Drake. Great whistle. McSquizzy with the two, one month until I'm a married man, then to Aruba. Congrats, man. That's fucking exciting. Congratulations to you. Key marriage to you would be like hell, but for most people, it's nice. All right, well, I put three hours into this shit, so let's call it for gaming tonight, and then we'll do videos.
Yeah, that game's not bad. It's just like, eh, I don't know. It's just kind of mid. Music's pretty loud. La, 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 la. Happy Halloween to you. Ho, 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 ho. Bloodstained. <laughs> what is this music? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Alrighty. <laughs> Bruh. Shit's wild. Alright, so FBI. I don't know if you're here still, but we'll watch your. Oh yeah, you are. I see you. We'll watch your fucking Vosh video. Nasty. What the fuck happened to full screen? There it goes. Oh, I did see this. Yeah. This this guy this guy was doing a um uh criticism of Tears of the Kingdom, but he's like a Nazi addict, so it's really funny because a Nazi addict. I guess you're a CP addict then. Because his brain is an open book? Yeah, I, I saw this. I saw Okay, bro. I mean, is this guy really throwing stones in his fucking glass house? Like, really, bro? Oh, this. It's not, it's not new to me. Look at this. It's very funny, okay? Oh, this is what the title looks like, by the way. So, we have the meme image. And then we have hentai uh, <laughs> Zelda next to large... Ganondorf, because Nazis and addicts. It's like a Venn diagram with one circle, you know? What the fuck does this have to do with Nazis or sex addiction? It's a fucking meme. Holy fuck, bro. Again, this guy really wants to fucking throw stones when he literally compared fucking, you know, Chinese labor to basically saying CP should be legal. Because if we buy Nike shoes, guys then everything should be legal, including child porn. Like, fuck off, bro. Here, hold on. It's pretty funny. You can tell the guy's a porn addict from the way he talks. And the queen was, uh, we'll say, dark elf. So despite the fact that the Grudo are clearly supposed to- It's always cuck NTR shit. It's literally always cuck NTR shit. Like, 100% with these people. You can't- It's like a prerequisite for being an internet Nazi. You can't do it. Unless you, um, you, you have a thing for, like, interracial cuck NTR shit. Supposed to be, like, the Middle Eastern inspired- Is he speaking from experience, bro? Weird race, I guess you could say, but they might even be a different species than Highlands. I'm- They're a- I forgot about this part. He doesn't- He thinks it's ambiguous that the Hylians and the Gerudo women are a different species. Like, he doesn't know. So he doesn't know shit. Yeah, I, he they're twice the height of high, Okay, yeah, no, it's Okay, yeah, it's they're a different species. It's, okay. The Hylians are bigger than fucking Zelda in other parts of the game, dipshit. I'm not sure. They could be like a sari and just take genetic material from Hylians to make more Gerudo, right? But no, now there's actually a lot of Hylians that are various shades of brown throughout the world. And of course, one of the founders of Hyrule set the stage for the entire series, created a wonderful Wakanda-esque utopia. Because, like, the original Hylian was, like, the fucking goat, bro. Yeah, is one of these brown Hylians. Almost literally, we was Kangs and shit. So much for- This is- this is how their minds are. <laughs> this is- this is all they have. They see- they- No they jokes allowed, guys. No jokes. They see- the the brown skin lady and they're like oh my god this is just like all those 4chan memes oh my god this no memes allowed dude this is just like all those drawings that i saw of black people with big lips and wide noses it's just like it's all coming back like and that's and that's all they can think about you know dude what the fuck is wrong with his chair that is so gross obsessed with Wakanda for some reason well again it's like they'll they they see like a black and white person standing next to each other and like a thousand yard stare like like they're remembering the nom flashback it's just all cuck porn running through their brain at light speed you know
You know, we call Nazis stupid, but they're... At least his CP isn't the uh, child variety, right? I'd say cuck porn's a little bit better than uh, child porn, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> their brain, when operating on the highest processing power of which it's capable, which is when they're thinking about cuck interracial porn, can actually process stuff way faster than you or I can, okay? They'll see, they'll see like any shit in media, and instantly they've got like 20, 40, 90s up here just processing 4K graphic cuck NTR hentai porn right through their head, you know? It's incredible stuff. It's like a special kind of autism. For Skyward Sword being the beginning of the series, and to dip into the schizo paint a little bit, the king being a goat man, who are the Zonai people who came from the heavens, My is borderline slow. satanic imagery. I have no idea if this is intentional or not, but Japan used to be infamous for putting weird Christian symbolism in anime and occasionally video games. He's, he's like one of the Catholic Nazi type, you know, it's the same. Yeah. What? So this could be an extension of that, or again, if you want to take the schizo angle, this is a result of a certain cult organization full of quote unquote elites that are subtly inserting their propaganda. I don't think there's such a thing as a Catholic Nazi, bro. The Nazis did not like Catholics or any religious people. And Religion got in the way of Nazism. Yo, games. It is extremely subtle. He's, he, 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 if anything, Hitler was pro Islam. Uh, Shadow Band Gang with the two. I have a feeling he's projecting himself on. Bro, like, Vosh is. He's a pseudo intellectual at its finest, man. An absolute fucking pseudo intellectual at its finest. When he recorded that, he was like, got him. They'll never get. They'll never understand. <laughs> I'm, I'm 10 steps ahead of him. Like I said, that's why I said, like, his brain is wide open for us to read, you know? He's so... Dude, honestly, like, if I'm being honest, like, even though I'm, like, I guess Christian or whatever, like, I'm pro-Islam, because at least, like, it seems like Islamic values are heavily based in morality versus a lot of these absolute fucking degenerates that run around these days. Like, at least with, like, Islam, there's, like, a lot of really good, like, moral values ingrained in the religion itself. So, I mean, personally, I think it's a net positive in the world, 100%, even if I don't subscribe to the uh, belief myself. And Exquisite with the two, once married, probably stop coming to streams. Oh, it's all good, man. No worries. Real life shit comes first subtle amount this is this is um this is like a big 4chan thing it's like the normie insider brain rot syndrome where they're so inundated in the special language of their like own personal psychosis that they think they're a f wizard when they slip incredibly unsubtly slip like their insane beliefs into stuff you know what i mean i think there is actually even a worse clip of him that i saw um where where, where he was like Oh yeah, here we go. Flags like visiting a synagogue for no f reason. And again, can't even get into it or I'll be demonetized, shadow banned, all that shit. But it is weird that we get a mini history lesson on Judaism in the middle of this zombie apocalypse story. And I, I mean, that is weird. Like the fuck? Why is there a fucking lesson in Judaism in the middle of fucking The Last of Us 2? I agree. That is like, dude, there's so much shit in The Last of Us 2 that's out of place. The romance scenes are fucking cringe. That scene was fucking unnecessary. Like, it's just, there's a bunch of that crap in The Last of Us 2 that just doesn't fucking fit. I don't know. Like, it doesn't, like, make any fucking sense in the context of what they were doing. On top of that, a major story point is Ellie and Big Schnoz's lesbian relationship and how an Asian guy... He recorded that, and he was like, <laughs> got him. The normies, the normies. She did have a big fucking nose, bro. These will never see through my descent. <laughs> got, yeah, you know. <laughs> the normies will never know. Can you, can you imagine just thinking about race all the time? Like, literally, like, just, that's, that's it, you know? And uh, by the way, oh, I want to be. Oh, because you never think about race. 
Dude, he, this guy sits on fucking Twitter waiting for the opportunity to call somebody a racist. That's fucking ironic. Clear, I'm consistent on this because even though I don't think they're full of hate or like psychotic bullshit in the same way, I do think there are lefties or libs who think about race too much, like that Robin D'Angelo like you. tier, uh, you know, like over obsessive reparation, like white guilt correction bullshit. But this is like five steps beyond, man. Literally, like everything. It's just, it's just all the the cuck NTR interracial stuff with no breaks. That's the whole life that they get. We're almost done with this. There's all sorts of little nuggets of wokeness, like Paya now having a giant brown boyfriend. <laughs> uh, he wrote the script with one hand. It's all he can think about. No, like I said, at the end of the day, fascism is just about sexual insecurity. Who looks like a Giga Chad in comparison to length is... Despite the fact she was thirsting for his dick in the last one. Not to mention the quote-unquote subtle homosexual imagery from Breath of the Wild has been expanded even further in this one. And I already know people are going to say I'm reading into it. <laughs> Just maybe. <laughs> I know. Hey, I know what people are going to say. They're going to say, hey, you're being a little f obsessive. Like you're, you're non-stop thinking about this. Just a little... He, sees like a hand clasped in like respectful vow of a warrior to another and it's like all right now some people say i never shut up about the homosexuality and interracial and no kid's gonna see <laughs> look at how mad he looks in the top left too he's watching he doesn't him. look mad he looks bored <laughs> he's link is a heterosexual Fishman's a heterosexual it's a, he's like fucking why even play games? Re I like seriously. Why do anything other than masturbate to interracial NTR porn? I, like, if that's where you're gonna be mentally anyway. This oh, shit. Vosh is way worse than Synthetic Man, easily. But that's exactly how you desensitize people and how you groom them, right? You expose them to things. Yeah, look how disgusted he is. He's literally fucking laughing. The vow that each of the <laughs> new sages takes. That's, to that's pure like anger right there, guys. Pure fucking rage. They're proposing to him. <laughs> and Sidon, the giant shark guy, people already made a bunch of gay lewd images between. <laughs> Guys, I'm not overthinking this, all right? I'm not talking about this too much. Just evidence to my point, I have searched over 100 gigabytes of Link X Sidon porn. And uh, from this, my, my, my thorough analysis, I have documented all... <laughs> Fine. Oh, my God. Why do white supremacists always look like they're the result of four generations of inbreeding? It's like, it's like, uh, I mean, if, if you're like a mediocre person, you tend to turn to other stuff to give your life purpose, right? People do that all across the spectrum, right? That's not like just a Nazi thing. But like, I do think like there is a reason why overwhelmingly it's like there's on that side of things. Porn addicts as well. I genuinely, I genuinely think that like that's got to be the number one inroad to being a modern day neo-Nazi is, is being a porn addict and being what? like really into interracial cuck shit. But like, dude, he has to be speaking from fucking experience. Like these are way too specific. Like feeling ashamed and then trying to do the whole like Nazi fake trad cat thing to whip yourself out of it, you know? Uh, so funny. Between Weaponized schizophrenia, but the two notice he isn't watching the- Of course not, dude. These fucking retards don't have enough attention span to actually sit through a video. They have to go on Twitter to get 20 second clips. That's all their mind can fucking process. Shadow Band Gang with the two. He's the guy whose chat unironically uses Kick W. <laughs> Who does? Vosh? Oh my god. I mean, him and Link, when Breath of the Wild Kek came out, w well, been I saw like one other clip. Years, I, I saw, wait, like. wait, please. There was one other clip that I saw. Yes, please. Hey, I'm not convinced. Link was already a cross-dresser before this. Yes, he's, yes, the, the, my, his mind is an open book. Yes, please. All right, let's learn, let's learn more about how normal this guy is. Give him a wife in the story, I'm not convinced. Link was already cross-dresser before this game. Not to mention, an actual child, a bird child, is one of the other sages. Hold out your hand. 
Jesus, he's hand mogged by everyone. He's this is his this is this guy's life. Literally. He he sees two cartoon characters shake hands and he's like, Jesus, the player insert character that I'm playing as is getting hand mogged right now. Holy Christ, he's getting hand mogged. It's over, bro. It's hand mogged by a child. Link was destined to be a bottom, but so Oh no, man, he made a joke about Link the Twink, and now Vosh is gonna fucking freak out. Like, it's the worst thing he's ever heard in his life. Guys, I think the homosexuality might be coming from inside the house. Live your truth. Over. <laughs> and Riju's a Gerudo, and if you've seen any of their Rule 34, you know they're usually sporting a little something. <laughs> Whoa, Groomer? She's 17 and 3 quarters, you pedo. Also, hold on. One oh, second. fuck off, bro. Don't you even dare try to call somebody else a pedo. Dog, Vosh calling someone else a pedo is like literally. No, <laughs> it's just that's friendly fucking fire, man. In any of their that's friendly fire, you my know, guy. They're usually sporting a little something extra. Come. That's why I'm good. <laughs> that's why I'm going doing your pussy to. No jokes allowed, As guys. further evidence to how normal I am and how everyone else is groomer and degenerate, I have seen thousands of images of Fuda Gerudo NTR cuck hentai porn. And what's more... Have you never opened up fucking Twitter? Literally, you go under any tweet regarding a video game and you will find fucking porn. You don't even have to look for that shit, bro. Uh, when, I, when I see the word come... In chat, the first thing I think of is the underage Gerudo woman, my character in the app. Oh, a bussy joke triggered Vosh so damn hard. That's because nobody wants to come in his, bro. Oh my god, Real bro. Talk. Dude, he's just a porn addict. Literally, like that. But but what I when I saw this, the thing that no really jokes, made me guys. laugh is like this is the kind of guy who thinks he's really smart and slick and like his, his dog you are literally the definition of somebody who thinks they're really fucking smart and slick you are a pseudo intellect motherfucker that is your entire online persona is being a quote unquote political commentator shut the actual fuck up dude your entire fucking career is pretending to be a fucking internet intellectual my guy holy fuck zero self-awareness Zero fucking self-awareness, my dude. Like, <laughs> that's fucking sad. That's really fucking sad, man. Uh, I saw it with the 10. Uh, 802 long. Yeah, we can check it out, man. And weaponized schizophrenia with the 2. Voss shaved, and he looks like he's inbred. That is not fucking surprising, man. Vosh looks like he came out of a trailer park in fucking northern Florida. No shade towards Florida, but he looks like he came out of a North Florida trailer park. He's like, uh, they'll never catch, they'll never catch my Nazi points. They'll never catch my anti-Semitism. You know, when in reality, it's like he's screaming into a into a, a bullhorn. You know that he's a porn addict. Um, yeah, it's just really funny. Midnight Mall with the two Vosh is a pedo. Sorry, I don't know them. Self awareness. Yeah, no, like this motherfucker literally said that because like child labor is a thing that child porn should also be legal from a morality standpoint. Like, he basically was arguing that because, like, the Chinese use, you know, child labor, that because of that, we should have no right to ban child porn and that it should be legal from a morality standpoint. Like, this motherfucker is wild. Because children working is comparable to them being sexually exploited. What the fuck? I can't afford yeah. This shit. Great, great fucking mind that we're witnessing here. An absolute genius. Weaponized schizophrenia with a two. Ironic. Aren't lefties really obsessed with sex? Dude, I don't fucking know. These motherfuckers are all like just massive. Anybody in the political sphere is typically a massive fucking unself aware idiot. It's literally like constant friendly fire. Deny, Link. Though obviously that's not canon, but you get the point, man. Every character... Is that, was he trying to do like a black voice for a Gerudo woman? Or did what? I just... What? 
can't put it past this guy. Night, Link. No, I've. That's why I'm. Gonna... <laughs> that's why I'm going doing your bussy tonight, Link. Oh my God, bro! He made a funny accent. How dare he? He's retarded. He's retarded. No, look in the mirror, my guy. The, for the or just look in your fucking webcam feed. No women. You, you, you're not even being racist in the right direction. He said in the. Oh my god. You're being racist by copying an accent. Yeah, fuck off, Osh. The video. He acknowledged that they were Middle East. God damn, man. Does he does he think that's that's what it's like over in like historical Arabia or something? Go go back and watch um the Aladdin cartoon, the Disney cartoon, and everyone talks like that over there. Though obviously that's not canon, but you get the point, man. You and get the point, hey, man. Listen, I ch I chose to look at a bunch of porn of Fuda Gerudo women, and that like says something about the art man every character that vows to him might as well be male figuratively now honestly i don't actually believe that but it is the the gerudo women are male he literally just said he doesn't believe it you fucking disingenuous cunt because he saw oh my god a bunch of this is painful to sit through <laughs> This, man, this guy, like, all of his decisions are based on the porn that he's seen. It's crazy. Do you do you think when he, like, goes to a restaurant and he sits down to order, he looks at the menu items and he's just remembering all of the, like, background, like, image details uh, in images and hentai videos of, like, oh, well, I remember seeing uh, uh, Udon that one time in, in, the, in the one where the black guy came over and became my stepfather. Um... Oh, whoa, that's, oh man, okay, this sushi roll, it looks exactly like that one image that I saw of the, like, food. <laughs> no, like, really? No, like, really, dude? Yeah, yeah, 100% chance he can order a pizza without thinking the delivery guy's going to... Yeah, 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 for sure, 100%, yeah. Get, getting horny looking at the IHOP menu because, like, the maple syrup running down the flapjacks reminds him of, like, 73 specific images that he could draw from memory. Of like come running down a girl's face and the girl dog you are literally talking from experience my guy it was supposed to be like this is first-hand account type shit man these are oddly specific examples older sister who's also cheating on him or i don't what this guy i don't know this guy probably <laughs> the connoisseur of genres weird enough to be I does real recognize real or some shit like is that why you're uh, able to identify that shit bro like brow <laughs> racing certainly oh, no. worth making fun of at the very least and perhaps more importantly than this weird schizo tangent is the fact that time travel completely ruins the story of breath of oh wait i okay the last bit of this is literally just him complaining that time travel creates plot holes which of course it does um it, uh, yeah I, I remember that it doesn't even like it doesn't have a um, thing. I don't. Even, I don't even care to. It yeah, I don't care about the valid points, bro. <laughs> let's just uh, let's try to poke holes in obvious fucking jokes, like. Bruh. It doesn't. It doesn't fit into my broader narrative that this guy's uh, uh, come brain. Yeah. Look at that. It doesn't fit my narrative, so I don't want anything to fucking do with it. Like disingenuous motherfuckers bro disingenuous motherfuckers the second it doesn't fit the narrative he doesn't want to show it on stream will with the two of all sh showing that low tier god sus energy 100 percent, man uh, uh, you're saying maybe they're not to the point well i i haven't shadow band gang with a five bro every word that comes out of vosh's mouth is a schizo rant but the thing is is he doesn't even identify it like at least synthetic man is pretty uh self-aware and says like most of this shit's probably just schizo fucking shit but vosh mm -hmm. thinks it's reality finished tears of the kingdom so am i jealous of the magnificent chest hair i think i have more uh, i can't really say what <laughs> not even joking i think i have more Time travel ruined. I think my yeah. chest hair is thicker. That was great. Yeah, it's well, it is. It is sad. That guy. That guy seems pretty far gone, and he looks old. Like maybe I don't know, mid twenties or something. 
he's not exactly a 12 year old who got ruined into neo-nazism or whatever like this guy had to have made a chain of mistakes to get to the point where he's at right now um it is kind of sad though like he doesn't have to be like that can you can you imagine uh living your life that way no, like I actually, I actually mean it. I'm not what, doing this making as, like, this video game reviews. Like, oh, the imagine internet? being yeah, that be guy. Terrible. I really, genuinely mean like, imagine um, like like any time you consume media, like all you have is just like uh. Yeah, I don't have a fedora, it's man. It's like I don't think it fit. Uh, Vendetta with the ten. Can we watch ER's new upload? Uh, how long is porn. it? Let me check. Um. Yeah, we can watch it. Addiction yep. and Nazi shit. It's really, like it's like minutes. genuinely sad. I, I like. There's no way to say this without it sounding patronizing, and I guess. It Although I will add the caveat because we tried to watch one of his videos before because he mo uses movie clips. Sometimes the stream gets hit with copyright, so we will attempt. But if it gets uh, the warning, then I got to stop. But like, I do. I do hope he like. I don't know. Grows out of that at some point because I would. I would not want to <laughs> live like that. Um. Yeah. I can't I always take in this stuff as cautionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can you can look at that and go like, wow, you know, what paths in life might I have taken that could have led me to being that sad? And like what, you know, I, clearly I'm not now, but like what what can I learn from it? And it's always good to learn from stuff like that. I mean, I have issues with excess porn consumption, but not Nazism. Okay, to be clear, look, I've talked about this a lot before, but I want to make my views clear, all right? Porn addiction is a is a a social or psychological addiction in the sense that it's not oh like a God. chemical addiction the way that you can get chemically addicted to like crack or, or alcohol or whatever um but you can become psychologically addicted to basically anything what do you mean you can't be no you get addicted to the fucking dopamine that floods into your body whenever you fucking nut bruh it definitely is a chemical addiction. What the fuck? And generally speaking, an addiction is counted as such when it has a negative impact in your life. So um, if a person like looks at porn a lot or a decent amount or whatever, but it doesn't get in the way of anything they do or it doesn't negatively affect their life, they just happen to do that. That's not necessarily an addiction. There are people who have porn addictions, and I think that's that's bad. Like, you know, ideally... Is the rest of this video just him talking about porn addiction? reasons why it's almost impossible to argue with them in a way that'll change their yeah mind. i don't give a fuck bro i don't really want to hear pseudo intellectual vosh you know concern you troll can't. about porn addiction i don't fucking care like that's boring as fuck um let's see hi to your mortal 101 with the two can you listen to michael jackson peach <laughs> what the fuck is that i mean as long as i don't get hit with copyright it should be all right uh, weaponized schizophrenia with the two corn literally or wait porn literally rewires your brain what the yeah exactly it's like the fucking retards that cope and say that weed isn't addictive like shut the fuck up <laughs> literally alters the chemical balance in your fucking brain of course it's addictive you retards like oh my god dude the fucking cope is sad all right so what is this chick's name melanie mac this video? Yeah, that's gotta be it. Pride Church gets smite Dog, you already know motherfuckers are gonna freak the fuck out over that title. Oh, God. Yes, you read the title right. Dude, she's doing pretty fucking good on that like ratio. Like, holy fuck. 18K with 3.5K likes? That's fucking good. Shit, man. A 20% like-to-view ratio? She definitely is not getting fucking ratioed on this video. If somebody has a dislike count, let me know. But that's really fucking high for likes-to-views. A church in Massachusetts gets smited to the ground hours after a pride celebration. God will not only 200 off, dislikes. Yeah, you. she definitely took a W on this shit. Telling you about what happened is to show you a little bit because we do have some video of the church burning to the ground. So here is the tweet in question. Taylor Day, she made this. She said a church in Massachusetts gets the Sodom and Gomorrah treatment 
hours after Pride Month celebration, and then I quote tweeted it and said, "Blasphemous church, go boom." <laughs> Dude, this like look at that fire, man. This shit's crazy. I've never seen like a building fire like this fucking bad. Like this is fucking crazy. Church steeple collapses after lightning sparks fire. Like look at that shit, man. That's what That's why when y'all were talking about the Bible, so I was like there's no fucking chance, man. That shit is crazy. Ground. Burned to the ground. What the... F like, I want to know what the fuck was even inside of there that made it that flammable, man. Like, that is a fucking fire, dude. Like, you got to have a lot of fuel for a fire to get that large. Like, what the fuck is inside of there that's, like, fueling it that much? That's pretty wild because it looks like it's a, like, stone exterior, so it's not like a wooden church. I don't know, man. Like, it looks like it's a stone, like, building. It doesn't look like it's, like, a wood exterior. So, I don't know, man. Shit's pretty crazy. Midnight Mobile with the five. I absolutely hate when people like this pseudo-intellectuals talk about jerking. Like, it's a, like, it's a bad and it's an addiction, like, weed. When he jerks. To, yeah, exactly. But the thing is, anything can be addictive. 100%. Everything in moderation is probably okay. But, yeah, literally, you can get addicted to anything. Woo! Especially if it that alters your mental powerful. state. powerful. People in the comments are like, whoa, wait, what? Struck by lightning. God will not be mocked. And some people... <laughs> You could tell some people have never cracked open a Bible before. They're replying to this and being like, oh, why would a Christian be laughing or celebrating about a church getting burned to the ground? It's like, have you ever opened a Bible in your life, bro? False churches, false teachers, false prophets. These are in the Bible time and time and time again. And what people forget uh, who are not a part of the faith is we follow Jesus Christ, and if anybody calls themselves a church, calls no, themselves I can't raise a the brother volume. or a sister, but do not follow Christ and actually... Weaponized schizophrenia with the two, we know the fuel is Satan. Come on, that's right, man. Preach against and actually blaspheme the Lord... They are not a bro. Like, I just want to know what the church is going to, like, put out as a statement, man. Because, like, what are they going to do? Are they going to deny divine intervention or whatever? And they're going to be like, oh, it was just a freak accident with lightning, you know. Like, that's what I want to know. Because, you know, the church is supposed to be, like, the motherfuckers pushing that God does actions like this. But the fact that they were openly celebrating Pride Month which is, you know, pride considered to be the worst of all the seven deadly sins is pretty fucking hypocritical already. So I don't know, man. It'd be pretty fucking interesting to see what their actual response to this is. Other or a sister. I don't care what their church looks like. I don't care. We do not support that. Um, so here we have a post. So I'm not sure if they actually like, bro, a poor hold on. That. What was that? Um, Look at this shit. Stretch out your hand with pride. You're that's like literally saying stretch out your hand with gluttony, with sloth, with jealousy, envy, like all these fucking sins, bro. What type of fucking dipshit logic is that? You might as well say stretch out your hand with murder. Like, what the f <laughs> Like, oh my god, bro, like, this is insane, this is coming from a fucking church. They're literally encouraging people to fucking commit a sin, basically. Like, it's one thing to be like, you know, anybody can be forgiven from a sin, you know? Whatever, like, redemption is possible, but it's like, what the fuck, bro? They're, like, actively encouraging, like, sin as a church, which is beyond fucking hypocritical. So here we have a post. So I'm not sure if they actually had a celebration. Like, it's one thing to preach tolerance 
and like loving your fellow man, but it's another thing to like actively encourage a fucking sin in your own religious text. Going on in the church at the time, or if it was um, just a post here, but they definitely made a post that has since been deleted in here. It'd be like the Catholic church being like, reach out with divorce. Or if a church was giving out free abortions, like, Bruh. <laughs> it's just like, it's weird, man. That's just, it's strange. They shared this pride month, stretch out your hand with pride. United church of Christ. It says, um, very clearly this is blasphemy. You know, what the message should have been is more along the lines of you can be saved from pride. You can be healed. You can be redeemed. That should be the message, not supporting <laughs> sin. Because if the Catholic clear. Church said reach out with pedophilia, Bruh. <laughs> they are big fans. You cannot. Dude, I don't understand that shit. But then again, that's what pedophiles do, bro. Is they, like, infiltrate. I think they said, what is it? Like, one out of every three child molesters is a social worker. Like, somebody who works around kids purposely. Like, educators, social workers, bus drivers. Like, all these, like, fucking pedophiles position themselves to be in places where they can interact with kids and have, like, a position of power over them so they can take advantage of them. It's fucking disgusting, man. Really fucking disgusting. The Bible makes it exceptionally and abundantly clear. God sees pride. God sees all of this. Homosexuality, transsexuality, God calls it an abomination. Doesn't matter if Dude, you it's like it. not even that. The fact is, is pride is literally in Christianity considered to be the worst of the worst when it comes to sins. Like, this is the worst sin in the entirety of the fucking Bible that you could commit. Pride. Pride is literally the fucking, like, original sin. <laughs> it's like... How fucking tone deaf do you have to be as a fucking church to encourage the sin of pride? <laughs> like, it doesn't matter if it has to do with gay people, straight people. It doesn't matter. The concept of pride is literally one of the most frowned upon ideologies and mentalities to have in all of Christianity. Regardless of being gay, straight, bisexual, black, white, male, female, it doesn't fucking matter. Anyone who commits the sin of pride is considered to be an extremely evil person. It's just like insane, bro. Absolutely fucking insane. Take away the fucking gay aspect of it. That doesn't even matter. Pride is literally the worst sin in all of Christianity. And here you have a church like fucking putting hashtag pride, hashtag pride month. Are we going to do hashtag murder, hashtag murder month? Like the fuck? Doesn't matter if I like it. That's what God says. And therefore I respect what God says. Okay. Um, and so... Like I said, doesn't mean they can't be redeemed. Dude, there's one of those churches near me where it's like they have the sign out front where it's like, love is love, black lives matter, support peace, not war. Like all the fucking current things. And it's like, bruh. <laughs> it's just like so cringe. We all struggle. It's like, why? I mean, I get like religion can be a political topic, but like, why are religious institutions like actively like, you know, politicizing themselves when they don't fucking need to? It just makes no sense. Like, what the fuck does religion have to do with the war in Ukraine? <laughs> the fuck? With sin. And, and some of us is going to be a different sin than others. So, you know, let's not pretend like people who 
uh, are Christians that we're perfect. We're not, but we are saved. We are redeemed. And part of becoming saved and accepting Jesus Christ is turning from our sin. It's something we're going to always have to battle with, but it's that's the process. And trust me, it's worth it. Because when the Bible says something is a sin, when the Bible especially calls something an abomination, it's for our own good. You see what it does to people. You see what it does to society. Some people will try to... Yeah, I can read what I read earlier. So, the sin of pride. Um, let's see. Of the seven deadly sins, pride is the only one with a virtuous side. It's certainly a good thing to have pride in one's country and one's community and oneself. But when taken... Oh, wait. No, that's not it. Fuck. Where'd it go? Oh, there we go. Pride is said by most to be the foremost of the seven deadly sins. Hubris is the gateway through all other sins enter the mortal soul. Because, like, basically the whole idea is that, you know, with pride, you believe yourself to basically be above God, pretty much. That's the reason why it's considered to be, like, the worst of the worst. Because, like, that was the reason, like, fucking Satan got kicked out of heaven is because he viewed himself above God and had more pride than he, like, should have, basically. I don't fucking know. I don't want to get into the whole fucking history of it, but just the fact that this is literally considered to be the greatest of all sins in the Christian faith and they're like celebrating it is fucking wild to me. I to say, well, all sin is equal and it's not, it doesn't work that way. Now it, it does mean that like, Hey, you can't work your way into heaven. You can't be righteous on your own because we all have sin. So we all don't deserve heaven. And that's why we needed that mediator, Jesus Christ. But still the Bible is very clear on abominations the Bible is very clear on sin that leads... No, nah, Satan wasn't jealous of Jesus. Satan was jealous of man. That was the whole thing. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two. They need to watch some Bible man or Veggie Tales for real. That's right, bro. <laughs> veggie Tales is probably better than going here. To death. And the Bible even specifically, let me find that verse. So I pulled up another vo verse. This is specifically for the people who say every sin is equal. Uh, it's simply not. Rich called her a white nationalist. How is she a white nationalist? Is that actually your, like, what? True. If you look at. First Was it based off of this video or something else? John 5, 16 through 17 here. It's I haven't heard her mention race once. Committing a sin not leading to death. He shall ask and God will give him life. To those who commit sins that do not lead to death. There is sin that leads to death. I do not say that one should pray for that. All wrongdoing is sin. But there is sin that does not lead to death. Okay? So, basically, what I gather from all this is there's going to be little things we can nitpick about each other all day long. Right? And there are certain things that... Just you don't have to make a huge deal out of them. Now, if you see your brother or sister, Timothy Marco with the two Christian nationalists. That's right. <laughs> a nationalist of God's kingdom. There you go. Getting a sin that leads to death. Let's AKA say, planet Earth, right? Sexual immorality. Yeah, Let's racist. Say your friend Susan is just being a hoe. Like, girl. Uh, that's when I would be, I would not be a good friend if I didn't take Susan aside and say, look. Okay, Susan, look, I know, I know, like, we went to church. What do I think of together. Synthetic Man? He is uh, genuinely entertaining to watch. I don't agree with him on everything, obviously, but I think he's a uh, interesting person to watch content from. At least he has genuine opinions. Girl, and you out here being a hoe, that's going to lead you to, to death. Like, let's, let's, you know, reflect on this, girl. You know, that's when you're going to want to have that conversation. But if it's just like, okay, maybe Susan's wearing some clothes. That's, you know, okay, that's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit more immodest than I would wear. Uh, would I, would that be worth 
bringing her, like talking, setting her aside, talking to her about personally, I don't, I wouldn't feel right about that. In that kind of situation, I would just pray for her. Hey, you know, if it's wrong for her to wear that, she's going maybe a little bit too risky. I don't know. Like, speak to her heart, whatever it may be. So there is a difference here. All right. Let's, let's just, I just wanted to clarify that. Also, I wanted to watch, <laughs> I saw this video on TikTok about this whole thing. And it was just amazing. So this is where you already see the, the reverend at that church. He's contradicting the word of God. Um, he even seems kind of gay. I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he's <laughs> but regardless, he is uh, blaspheming in this speech. But just watch this. Why are there all those contradictions in the Bible? Well, because it was written down by people over a period of about 1,500 years. So given, th given that, then you don't believe in the fucking Bible, you dipshit. If you don't believe that the Bible is the word of God, then you're not a fucking Christian, my dude. It's not, like, that fucking hard. <laughs> like, what the fuck is he talking about? You're some fucking weird variant. You're not an actual Christian if you don't believe the fucking Bible is the word of God. That's like saying, yeah, I'm Muslim, but the Quran has nothing to do with what Allah actually said. It's like, what the fuck is he talking about? Get wrecked! <laughs> Bro, that shit got fucking Get destroyed. wrecked! Also, let me also clarify on this. Nobody was hurt in this situation, okay? Um, people were evacuated before it got to that, but... To me, because look, this is the way I see it. We know, we know, we know what God's capable of, right? If God wanted to kill every one of them, he would have. Um, but God is merciful. And they got the warning shot. <laughs> In this case, so they're okay. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I also wanted to share this that I found today. Now, this comes from Bible DLC, so take it as you will. Bible DLC? Message, right? What the it fuck? It says, fear not the words of a sinful man, for his glory is dung and worms. Bro, what the fuck is Bible DLC? Is that, like, the fucking Mormons? So good. <laughs> Saw that this morning. So what like, is Bible DLC? Wow. It just put a lot of things into perspective because whenever I share my faith on so online and all this stuff, I get a lot of backlash. I get a lot of haters. I get a lot of people that just can't stand me and just want to see me unalived. And the more I share the word of God, the more the resistance follows. But I'm not going to let it bother me. Bring it on. Uh, I also wanted to share this video because this whole situation reminds me of this that happened fairly recent as well. I don't even need to, I don't even need to say anything, just watch. Maybe minorities, sexual and gender minorities, have something to teach the church about dying to self. I don't really see anything that, like, ridiculous about this video, bro. I have not heard anything that's, like, I, I don't know. Like, it's obviously, like, pretty apparent that she's christian i mean she's just literally re like basically <laughs> fucking spouting the rhetoric that the bible state like i don't know man what is like controversial about this shit like are people angry that a christian has christian beliefs like the fuck about new life about <laughs> bruh He tries to be like, oh, that, that, that wasn't the... That is not a sign of God's judgment, okay? Oh, oh really? So you can say that? Oh. <laughs> Bro, that's pretty spooky. Oh? Hmm? The okay, timing bro. on that. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to follow this. <laughs> that's pretty fucking spooky, bro. A lot of people... You know what? I get it. And for a lot of people, it's, it comes from a place of compassion. Because I've been there. I have tried so hecking hard to try to justify 
this, <laughs> to try to justify all of this because I have friends that are in the LGBT community, all that kind of stuff. And I tried so hard to justify because I don't want to think of, you know, I just want to love them and I don't, and we should love them. But part of loving them is not condoning their sin. You're going to have blood on your hands if you do that. And so if you're in that kind of battle, if you're scared of losing friends, if you're scared of hurting your friend's feelings for your stance on this situation, you have to look at the bigger picture here. If your friend is out playing in traffic or if your friend is driving off a cliff, you're going to try to help them. You're not going to try to say, well, it's okay. You can do that. You can, yeah, it's totally fine. And then watch them die right in front Timothy of you. Timothy Marco, the two, her, wait, he's taking this video and her tweets as imposition? What do you mean imposition? Let me look that up. I'm fucking retarded. Imposition. Oh, like imposing something? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I think it's just literally somebody explaining what they think happened from a Christian perspective. I don't really see anything that crazy. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two as I, wait, I literally shivered when that happened, bro. Dude, that shit was crazy. Like the timing was impeccable. Like what the fuck? Your eyes, right? So you I saw it with the two, bro. Check out Rich Twitter after this. Wow. Okay. You the the true way to love somebody when you see them walking off a cliff is to stop them. Is to try to stop them. At the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do. And at the end of the day, you might lose friends. I lost a lot of friends. But I cannot justify people walking off a cliff. And I will not do it anymore. I can't. Uh, so here we have 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. This is abundantly clear. Okay? Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. And this last verse here, this is what matters the most. Because it doesn't matter if you've done any of these things, okay? If you accept Jesus Christ and you turn from your sin, then I you can be justified, you can be sanctified. This isn't a life sentence that you've done any or all of these trying things. Trying to find riches. It's not Twitter a life account. sentence to hell. It's not a On life knitter. sentence to death. You can still be redeemed, but you do have to turn from the sin. And this is where a lot of people are just like, well, you know, it, well, let's say someone's struggling with one of these things. Let's say it's a, there is a gay, uh, someone who has gay tendencies. And they accept Christ, and then, oops, they they fell into it again. And then, but they can they can repent and move forward from that. But here's the difference: is whenever you accept Jesus Christ, it's a heart change. Oh and you're God, see it I can already see it. That way, you're not going to want to sin, and when you do sin, you're gonna feel bad about it. So it, some people will just be like, oh, I mean, so all you got to do is just say, oh, I'm sorry, and keep doing it. Well, if you're not feeling guilt, and if it's not a thing, and you just keep continuing to live that life. See, I don't know, man. I'm of the mentality, personally, as someone who has actually read the Bible, that basically, as long as you're like, basically it's accepted that all human beings fucking sin. So it's like, if you actually are Christian, then you believe that basically everyone is capable of redemption. So I don't know. Personally, that's the way I look at it. Like basically the whole premise of Christianity is acknowledging that people are imperfect. Everyone is a sinner. And as long as you act as a good human being and acknowledge your faults, you can be redeemed basically. So, I don't know, man. Because, like, that's the whole fucking um, point of, like, Jesus' sacrifice in the Bible 
is so that people could be redeemed of their sins if they decided to repent or acknowledge that they had done wrong or had led like as righteous of a life as they possibly could have. So, I don't know, man. Of course nobody's going to be able to fucking keep to every single fucking thing mentioned in the Bible word for fucking word. That's literally impossible. Like, you can't stop yourself from looking at, like, a chick or something and being like, damn, bro, I want a piece of that. Like, that's technically a sin. You know, we wouldn't be fucking horn dogs <laughs> if we were never intended to think that one. So, I, I don't know, man. It is what it is. But to each their own. Let's see. HTM101 with the two. I remember a YouTuber teared up from Paradise. The poem or like a movie or something. The fuck? Isn't that like an old poem or something? 2023 Perfect Dark with a five. You're the last person anyone should listen to about the word of God with all that ink on your arm while criticizing others about not reading. Yeah, I know, man. The whole like tattoo and, you know, religion thing is very fucking ironic. I agree. 100%. Especially if they have Bible verses tattooed on themselves. Like, that's the fucking, uh, that's the icing on the cake whenever that occurs. Z Herb with the five. Did you hear about that comedian who collapsed on stage after saying she was triple vaxxed and Jesus loves her? Shit does be weird at times. Yeah, there's some crazy stuff. Christian rant and everything like that. Like, if you're a religious person, you're a piece of shit. Because my homophobia... You know, basically trying to score fucking current thing points. Like, even he fucking acknowledged, like, his entire life went to shit in the span of a week after those comments. So it's like, bro, there's some crazy shit that does happen. 100%. Lifestyle and then just, you know, say a few words. Oh, please forgive me. And you don't really mean it. And you're not really sorry for it. Then that's not the same. Then you, then Christ, Christ living in you will manifest itself um and it will cause you not to want to sin so you're going to notice a big difference there so um you cannot if you deliberately choose a lifestyle of sin you're not saved uh hebrews 10 26 says if for if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins this the bible time and time again will say um, you know, you'll know. Yeah, I don't really see an issue with this video, man. I, I have not heard anything that's, like, super fucking crazy. Like, this is literally just her, like, reiterating Christian beliefs. I don't really see a problem with this. Like, how is this, like, the next big fucking controversy? I guess all people with religious beliefs should not be allowed to discuss the core beliefs of their religion, I guess. Vesnia with the five, I used to be atheist, but I'm slowly turning Christian in time with all this craziness happening. I think I'll start going to church. Good for you, ma'am. Oh, by our It definitely is a fucking crazy time. I'm gonna become a Christian YouTuber. That's right, ma'am. I'm definitely a pastor material, right? Roots. Um so if you and I can't really stress this enough, especially if you're reading your Bible daily. If you call yourself saved, if you have, if you call yourself a Christian, read your Bible daily. Just one chapter. Or at least read it once, bro. Most Christians have never even fucking read the Bible. They let other people fucking interpret it for them. Shit's dumb. And that will make I saw there with the two tattoos being a sin so weird after hearing that verse. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, I can pull it up real quick. It's like basically the whole, the whole concept is, is basically the human body is created in God's image. So anytime you alter your body unnaturally or mark it, you know, you're basically defacing what God created in a sense. Cause like you're created in God's image and you changing that basically 
is an insult to him. If Griffin tried to preach at church, he would end up going on a four-hour rant about how to properly invest and how to make money. Well, dude, there's like a whole fucking uh, Bible story about basically proper money management. That's why like the whole fucking thing is so funny to me where people bitch about like Jewish people being like financially successful and like controlling all the wealth. Like that's one of the core tenets of like their actual like, you know, culture and religious values is like proper money management, generational wealth, responsibility, not spending money frivolously. Like, you know, Christians could uh, abide by that too. It's in the old Testament. <laughs> Again, if you, if people actually read it they actually you'd probably be pretty surprised, but yeah, there's like a whole story in there basically about like the two sons, both sons get their inheritance. The one son blows it on everything that's like a fucking waste of money and shit. Lives like a degenerate lifestyle and then comes back home and his dad still like loves him and gives him money again. But the son learned a lesson about how to like properly manage money and not waste shit. You know. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't want to get in the fucking Bible story, but yeah. There, like, literally is a money management story in the fucking Bible. So, uh, technically, I could do that, and it would be perfectly acceptable. Huge, huge difference in your life. It has for me. I know with my battles and, 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 my, and, and my struggles and the sins that I have to overcome, um, since reading my Bible every single day, I have been so so much more disciplined and I have it, it has grown my faith tremendously um, and so I've been keeping this up for a long time now it's been at least a year I think uh, since I've been reading every single day um, and it has made such a huge difference I can't stress it enough now some people love to argue about this and say well homosexuality the word homosexual wasn't in the Bible before Sodomite was okay. It's just like you want to argue. Yeah, that's fucking semantics. They didn't have the word bestiality back then, but it's pretty fucking clear when they say anyone who lays with a beast should be put to death. <laughs> it's not really up for interpretation. <laughs> like, it's pretty clear. I don't know. Lord Pond and Investor with the two. Griffin would tell us to buy him a 747 brand new. And that's excessive, man. I'd be happy with a jet stream. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, or what is it? No, it's not a jet stream. It's a golf stream. There we go. Shit. I'm getting my uh, private jet brands mixed up. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two. The Old Testament doesn't apply to us. I know, man. Wait till you tell Christians that Jesus was a Jew. Bruh. That is, like, the funniest shit to me is when, like, alt-right people are, like, anti-Semitic like cement, like Semitic and shit. And it's like, oh, you know, I'm a Christian, I'm a Catholic, whatever the fuck it is. And it's like they're also anti-Semitic. And it's like, you do realize that Jesus literally was fucking Jewish, right? You can't be a fucking Christian if you're anti-Semitic, you fucking dipshits. <laughs> like, <laughs> so fucking pathetic. <laughs> it's so fucking sad. Oh, uh, Jesus was literally a fucking rabbi. Like, I, I don't. It, it's it's incredible, man. The pseudo intellect when it comes to fucking religion. Oh my god, bro. No, Jesus wasn't a rabbi. They called him rabbi. So he was a rabbi. Bro, I, I, I don't know. Like. <laughs> I mean, I can declare myself to be a pastor, and then I'm a pastor. So, who can actually say who is and isn't a rabbi? Like, it's not really, like, something you can, like, show up and be like, 
you can't like be I don't know. I'm a prophet. Hell yeah, man. But you spell prophet incorrectly. I'm not interested in that type of prophet. Only the give me monies kind of prophet. All right, let's see. Um, Brittany D with the two watch Yong Yeah's new video. I don't know if we're gonna have time to get to that tonight. We still got more shit to get through. Semantics. And it's getting the late. The act of homosexuality was described, was discussed in the Bible multiple times, right? And you'll see it over and over and over. We again. need to get through this Old video. Old Testament rampant with it. New Testament against it. Okay. Um, this is not some new translation error thing. It is abundantly clear that it disgusts God. It disgusts Him. It's the it's the truth. You don't have to like it, but it's the truth. And people, or viewers want to be like, oh, well, this is about men. What about women? Here we have Romans 1, 26 through 27 that says, For this reason, God gave them up to dishonorable passions for shit. their women, exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. Okay, so women with other women. And the men likewise gave up their natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another, men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. So, okay, it's like there's there's no question here, all right? No question here. Um, so let's be real with the situation. Let's be real with what's going on. And, like, while we're not... We're not seeing a Sodom and Gomorrah situation now. I truly believe that that is because there are more righteous people in society. All right, I think we got the gist here. I don't really hear anything that controversial. It definitely doesn't warrant the fucking, like, attacks that people are coming out with, bro. For real. It's like shit, man. She's literally just reiterating, like, Christian values. Like, that's literally it. I don't really, like, get where people are going, oh, my God, bro, she's a white supremacist, alt-right, you know, white nationalist. Like, I, I don't get that. Like, she's just literally reiterating widely accepted Christian values because she's Christian. Crazy, right? Wild. Spoiled kids who got exposed on camera. Get the fuck out. Dude, I am sick of this guy. Every time I think what I'm watching fuck? a regular video, he appears out of nowhere with this little green screen and says something useless. <laughs> What's up, boys? You guys really seem to be enjoying these videos where I just watch videos of really spoiled kids and get angry at them. You know, I think it's a nice little bonding thing between, you know, the creator and his community. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at some more videos of spoiled kids. So strap yourself in because it's going to be uh, something, that's for sure. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any spoiled kid stories about anyone that you knew growing up or maybe even yourself if you're willing to admit it and without further ado enjoy the video boys I really don't know what to tell you i spent three thousand dollars on school stuff today i am not taking how who the fuck spends three grand on school stuff taking you back to the mall tomorrow it's not enough it is enough no it is enough i don't know what more you want from me more jeans and more hoodies. It's like that. Yeah, I'd be like, I want your fucking phone. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Get the fuck out of my room. Hard to get through your head, for real? Like, dude, this is the problem with parenting now. Instead of, like, taking action against a spoiled fucking brat, she'd rather fucking record it so she can get TikTok clout. Like, the mom probably encourages this type of behavior so she can keep getting her fucking little bit of fame on the internet. And more hoodies. Like, people will willingly fuck up their kids just to make money and get a drop of clout. It's, like, that hard to get through your head, for real? Mama, move your head. Move your head, like... Honestly, the craziest part about this video to me is the fact that the mom spent $3,000. 
I can see why she's just spoiled if this is the amount that you're spending on her regularly. I really didn't know that like some kids have just like multiple shoes that they just like wear. Because when I was growing up, you had one. Why do kids have multiple pairs of shoes? Where the fuck do you live, bro? pair of shoes and then you would either outgrow those shoes or they would get destroyed so you get another these parents are out here buying their kids like one pair of shoes for each day of the week marie and amy are ready for sleep yeah i've always had like two or three pairs of shoes bro the fuck <laughs> but marianne fancies a late night <laughs> Wait, movie what <laughs> how is that odd to have multiple pairs of shoes British. Why is it so funny when people scream in British accents? Well, you're not having it, mate. You're not having your movie. You're not having your film, your motion picture. So get in the bed before Why I is it so smack funny you. Dude. Why the fuck is someone filming this? So this is what I mean. It's like they're more interested in the drop of clout than actually parenting. <laughs> Bruh. My kid talks to me like that. They're going to have the most crooked teeth in all of Britain. Now listen, if I was a mom and my daughter called me that, I would definitely not have just Bruh. sat there like that person did, and I think that might be the problem. When you when you figure your life out, you can come back. She's 30 years old. It's time to teach her a lesson. <laughs> That's all. Bro, what? She's 30 years old and still lives at home? I would have kicked him out a long time ago. She's getting a lesson You right don't now. think that, you know, she, she, there's no reason for her to be living rent-free in your house and treating it like a pigsty. That's absolutely right. She doesn't have a job. Dude, she, there's no reason for her to be living in your fucking house at age 30 anyway. I think you're doing the right thing. Just so she hang on, where is she? Because she's, she's going to be home soon, but I think... Yeah, there she is. Oh my gosh, she's here already? Yeah, she's Dude, here. Look at that hoe. Right yeah, she's coming in. Ugh. Your daughter is 30 years old and lives with you, and you spoiled her. And now all of a sudden, after 30 years of being spoiled in your house, getting everything she wants, you're just, like, kicking her out and throwing her into the real world. I don't know. Yeah, she's probably spoiled, but at the same time, it's like, you can't just, like, spoil her until you're, like, fed up with it and then just kick her out. Because she's not going to know what to do. Sure she's you not can. prepared herself for the real world at Who all. Who gives a so fuck? She's just going to be, like, homeless, or probably. Who or cares? Something. I don't Know. It is pretty crazy though to be 30 years old and still living with your parents like not even like ever have gone to college or gotten a job or anything like surely you got to be at least a little bit embarrassed right if I was 30 years old and still lived with my parents you know my parents are great people but I just <laughs> no dude no I need my own space when your kid enjoyed the movie but doesn't want to leave then pick his fucking bitch ass up and leave There you go. That's a good parent. Say tough shit, little motherfucker. We're getting the fuck out of here. Oh. Hey, um, does your kid need a, uh, <laughs> need a stepfather? I've been said to be a great role model. I could really send your kid in the right direction. Just hit me up. My Instagram is dom so up. You broke all no. them glasses. No, only two. Yeah, only two. You got games on your phone? Just, just, just go and cool off somewhere else. No. Okay. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Bro, if that kid slapped me, I'd hit him with a fucking reversal. So hard to take them seriously. And then what? Did his mom offer him an Oreo? <laughs> like, what is this? Th Dog, the reversal would have been fucking thrown. What process, man? I just, some of these parents are more stupid than their kids. His mom at the end offered him an Oreo to go calm. Here, you just shit on, this would be like if your dog just shit in the middle of your fucking floor. And you're like, oh, good boy, have a treat. Like, yeah. What a bunch of fucking losers, man. <laughs>
Oh my god. Shit's wild, man. Weaponized schizophrenia with the five. I was raised Christian. The church that I had the most fond memories uh, with embraced the Jewish roots, had mentors who celebrated Passover and everything. So they actually embraced the full faith. But yeah. I don't know, man. I like the Old Testament more so than the uh, New Testament for a lot of reasons, but it is what it is. I think the stories in the Old Testament are better. Brittany D with the two. Can you at least read the thumbnail? Yeah, I can pull it up. Daryl Zone with the two. I'm 30 and lived with my mom. Well, you said lived, so at least you're out now. Shadow Band Gang with the five. The one pair of shoes are a brokey thing you wouldn't understand the struggle growth that's right i was never living in a fucking mud hut over in the south sudan I'm down yeah okay well now he's gonna think that every time he gets mad he's gonna get an oreo so an oreo really because he smashed glasses it's no way i got a regular blue ipad and my two-year-old niece just turned two Got a whole iPad Pro. Huh. Probably just swap with her and she would even notice. Doesn't even probably know what that brush thing is that she's holding. You think that she got fucking panda dunks too? Bruh. She's gonna know the difference between an iPad and an iPad Pro. You just swap it. She's not gonna care. And then like later on down the line, you could be like, hey, you know that uh, iPad that I have? Yeah, that was actually yours long, long ago. And when you were really little and you didn't know what it was, I swapped with you. So it's mine now. Sorry. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of the time when some guy at my dad's work offered me a choice between an iPod Nano and an iPod with a screen. The, this is back when people actually used iPods. And I picked the iPod Nano that doesn't have a screen, which was like way less nice and way cheaper i <laughs> i said i didn't know how to read <laughs> so i picked the nano now are you gonna buy me a new one no nope. you're not buying me a new one how does that even happen that's how does fake. the bat break that's <laughs> fake the tv is just insanely strong it's the main character the thing is not going nowhere that was probably so awkward though you're like trying to prove a point to your mom like oh if i break this tv you gotta get me a new one and then you do that and they the probably saw the bat like, now you're kind of just out of luck at that point. This off oh, now. Now what? I'm going to put that shit back. <laughs> this is limited edition. See? Edition. This is <laughs> fake as fuck. Don't man. put it back. No! Put it back. Put it back. This is fake. No. We're getting it no matter what. No, put, no, put it back. back. No. Did she literally just say I'm gonna close your mouth with gorilla glue? Dude, this is so fucking fake. I'm getting this, Mom. No, no, put it back. No, this? No. No. <laughs> Someone no, come get this girl. Why does this guy just keep popping in and just saying random stuff? He adds nothing to the video ever. He just kind of pops in and he goes, what? No, put it back. And then he just leaves. <laughs> also, the video itself, it seems like a bit. I just, <laughs> the yeah, way it's she fake. goes, it's limited, limited edition. edition. <laughs> it feels like some sort of like South Park bit or something. Like when Cartman goes to the store with his mom and asks her for an iPad. I'm not going to elaborate on what happens in that scene, but it, it is funny. And you know what? I think that's a perfect note to end on. All these kids are finally getting what they deserve, all right? Right? the freedom to do whatever they want and be spoiled out in the real world so thank you guys so much for watching uh follow me on twitter and instagram and stuff and uh like subscribe all that and i'll see you guys later peace peace i don't know dude if i never even really this is the thing it's past the age of seven i knew better not to fucking ask for shit unless it was like my birthday or christmas i knew i wasn't getting shit <laughs> so it is what it is bro i didn't even bother like, even as a kid, bro, I, like, for instance, when I used to go to the grocery store with my mom, I would not even be able to get, like, a fucking piece of candy from, like, the fucking checkout thing. At all. So. Like, my parents really did not buy me that much shit. Unless it was, like, a birthday or Christmas present. And then after the age of 13, bro, like, very rarely even that. So. I mean, I don't really care, like. It's not a big deal. I don't feel worse off because of it. But, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it probably helped me uh, 
I guess have the motivation to make my own money and shit like that and always look for ways to uh profit. Ha ha ha, me shuckles. All right, we'll see if this uh causes copyright or not, but when he goes down where it's wetter. When you hop on his dingle. When he goes bad in your snark. When he puts in a third, call that a triton. When he asks you. I think they done like the financial analysis on this Little Mermaid movie and apparently it's set to lose Disney like $300 million. You to open thingamabob and you've got 20. When Massa makes you slave away out in the sun. When he asks for consent to kiss you. Can I kiss you? When you're easily the best Bruh. Disney live action remake of them all. I'm withdrawing my consent. <laughs> yeah, but you weren't expecting to hear that out of me, but the little she her maid easily crushes every other Disney live action remake. And I've seen them all other than Dumbo and Pinocchio, but there's only so much psychic damage I can take. The little chocolate milk maid is also beyond mediocre, vastly inferior to its original, and does not need to exist. What a soft shell I'm turning out to be. So let's dingle hop right over to the changes. First, well, they changed Ariel. Can you spot the difference? I'd say it's about an inch. You gotta appreciate that commitment to realism. This guy is really mean. That's going a little far. It's not nice to make fun of someone for their physical immutable characteristics. <laughs> oh, awesome. uh, Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Can the real Ariel please stand up? Bruh. But ER, she's a mermaid, a mythological creature. Mermaids can be any color we want them to be. Yeah, okay. But Ariel was white. Ariel's white, not brown. <laughs> you just oh, have a creepy shit. Bro, I need to send a video. I need to send a video to myself real quick that I downloaded the other day. Holy fuck, man. This just reminded me of a good meme. Where is it? There it is. Oh, God. I forgot to pull this up the other day. I saw this shit on Instagram, bro. I was fucking dying. <laughs> Hold on. Let me grab it real quick. Uh... Is it not? Whoa! She's yeah, here it is. She's just like me! Wait, how? Pushing the nigga! <laughs> Bruh. Like, this is literally what Disney, I guarantee you, was thinking in their fucking heads was gonna happen when they made her black, bro. Like, for real. This is probably what they thought, like, people were gonna think. I guarantee you. Whoa! She's just like me! Wait, how? <laughs> Whoa, she's just like me. Wait, how? Pushing the nigga. Can y'all hear me? I think we're good. I'm just waiting for all my shit to open up, so bear with me. Give me a second. Store windows. Yeah, like my whole fucking power just cycled. Either that or my, uh, I don't fucking know. Yeah, cause, yeah, my PlayStation still shut off. Maybe rip PlayStation, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I just had like a power surge or something. But we should be good. Let me just wait a second for everything to reopen. Mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 oh that's right man all anew i repented 
Allah knew that I repented for my sins, guys. All right. So, and of course, my super chat feed's dead. Lovely. Uh, give me a second. So, I need a new incognito window so no one can see the browsing history. Device theme, dark. All right. So, I got one more thing to close out of. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Got so much shit. Let me see if I can get this thing to open up real quick. Because it'll piss me off if it keeps popping up. Alright, I'm just going to hope that Razor is not going to be fucking obnoxious. Alright, I think we should be good. Okay. Let's go back. Here goes. To here. Was white. <laughs> you just have a creepy fixation with a cartoon ginger racist. Hmm. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, hey, you know, uh, something's different about you, nerd. But I can't quite put my finger on it. Isn't it superficially obvious? I grew legs. Hmm. I don't like change. For the record, I don't like Disney's remakes, not just because they're soulless cash grabs, but because I shouldn't be able to land a jetliner between the main actress's eyes. Hey, you! Stop! That all said, while it's tempting to just write Halle Bailey off as yet another cog in their great red placement, and she is, her pipes, they're pretty much aerial. I understand how she cut the part. In the voice and singing departments, she fits perfectly. In the acting department, though, I'm afraid she can't act her way out of a paper bag thrown into the ocean. What do you call them? Oh, feet. <laughs> what do you call them? Oh, feet. Who is she? <laughs> Bro, that was cringe as fuck. Drowning. I had to save him. Don't you take total voice with me, young lady. It's not great. Luckily for Hallie, she spends half the movie mute. Improves any movie, honestly. Now, for our next change, somehow Triton has daughters of, like, every race with one wife. How do you explain that, you ask? It starts with a C and ends with a RE. You get what I'm laying down here? Yep. Capitalism. <laughs> Shit, I'm really starting to sound like a breadline tuber. I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna have sex with your dog. Beyond the specter of transformation, this is one hell of a cynical ploy to sell toys. Hey, black girl, you want a dark-skinned mermaid doll from the movie? There you go. Yep, that's all it fucking is, man. It's marketing shit. Disney was like, oh, we made a bunch of fucking money from Black Panther because black people identified with the movie. So let's just do that again and milk even more money out of them. Light skin? Gotcha. Like, I just don't understand why people buy into this shit. Like, it's so fucking obvious. It's just like Pride Month, bro. They don't give a fuck about people. They just want to make money off of dumbasses. They want fucking money from people who make race and sexuality their fucking entire identity. That's all they fucking care about. Is just milking as many fucking, like, 
monies from you as possible. They're just like, give me monies. Covered. <laughs> Brown? You betcha. Asian? Did you look at that? Aryan? Hell yeah. It's even weirder on land. Eric's kingdom has every ethnicity under the sun, to the point I've no idea what they're trying to go for here. Is this supposed to be some colonized Caribbean island? But why is the queen black? Why are you black? The commies are <laughs> asking the same question. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Whoops. Ah, well, the movie is about Ariel changing her species, so if the newly acquired shoe fits, eh? And on the subject of bait, there were all these people on Twitter saying Disney removed Ariel's motivation to become human for love, and they were just wrong. And the little slur made Ariel still wants legs just so she can spread them, but for the white man. It smells like bleach. They were right about the other things, though. They legitimately do change the lyric and kiss the girl so that Sebastian tells Eric to ask for consent. Possible she wants you to use your words for and ask her. You're not supposed to ask. Maybe it's just me since I physically can't pucker my mouth. But if a girl's leaning in like this, do you really gotta double notarize it? Speaking of molesting, let's quickly discuss the cinematography, <laughs> specifically the lighting and camera work. Bruh. Whose less than brilliant idea was to light this movie as dark and cloudy and muted as feasibly possible, then cast a dark skinned woman as the lead? What a dim lidded idea. <laughs> The only times they brighten the underwater world are during the Dinglehopper scene and the Under the Sea number, the latter of which perfectly encapsulates my issue with the camera work because it's like trying to give you seasickness. Can you hold one fucking shot for five awful. seconds? There's almost never a point you get an uninterrupted look at Ariel during this song because dozens of CG fish are taking up like 75% of the- Well, they're trying to cover up the fact that it's CG. The foreground while the camera continues to spin like we're in a cyclone. <laughs> It's visually atrocious, and it doesn't help how uncanny the CG creatures look. We all know live action is a misnomer for these movies, since there's more animation involved than there ever was with the originals, but they forego all the advantages of their Renaissance era 2D animation. And because I used to do this with my hands, it's got these little animated hands that are like curved and twisted and they do things. So I found that really fun, the fact that they took all the stuff that I was doing in front of the camera and for the animated and they put it into the real character. For realistic CG, Scuttle looks horrifying trying to talk and he's a she now for some reason. So logically they make her brain damaged. I don't like it when you call me an idiot. What is this idiot bobbling about? Sebastian is a freakish abomination and his voice what actor was an accident. They get Flounder's voice in acting, right? But his character is irrelevant. In yeah, this. some movies just do not need to have a fucking live action adaptation. Like, I don't understand why. But Disney's creatively bankrupt, so I guess that's why. Version, and he they looks just gotta like rehash some fishy the same shit over and over again. I'd say the mermaids look AI generated, but our future overlords are likely already killing CG artists in their field. <clears throat> Figuratively, I hope. We're just not allowed to know that yet. Regardless, this movie can be almost painful to look at at times. I thought you said this was the best one. Yeah. Okay, enough about the technical stuff. The big story changes. There aren't that many, really, but those there are are all for the worst. Remember that swab? Remember my song in the swab? And I was like, wah, take your wah, wah. Well, two aren't, but they're- What the fuck? Little things. Though, hey, I'm surprised they made any improvements at all. So I might as well give them the limelight real quick. First, in the shark chase sequence, they set up the mirror in the shipwreck, and instead of getting the shark stuck in the anchor, they have Ariel angle her reflection in the mirror so as to appear deeper inside the ship, so the shark rams the mirror and gets stuck. Clever girl. Second, while in the kissing canoe under the stars, Ariel helps Eric figure out her name by using the Ares constellation. Ares, eh? Ariel was. It's a cute scene and smart. And while not necessarily better, Melissa McCarthy filled out the role of Ursula seamlessly. And I just gave you the premium package, kid. Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? She was given some really stupid expository dialogue in her first couple scenes, but she did her best with it. Kudos to her, definitely the best part of this movie. Nobody ever puts my fins back! Weaponized schizophrenia with the two based fellow femme rapper hater. That's right, man.
But that's it. The rest of the movie is a much less enchanting ripoff with a handful of weird off-color changes that are either harmless or just cheap in aspects of the story. For instance, the human world appears acutely aware of the sea world because they blame them for wrecking all their ships. AI eroding our land from under us, stealing it back into the ocean. Eric's backstory now is that he washed up from a shipwreck as a kid before the queen took him in, yet he's drawn to the sea anyway, and to wrecking ships just fine on his own. It's such a strange alteration because it doesn't add anything to the story and rather undermines this new Eric's obsession with sea voyaging. Now I thought, and hear me out, I thought they were setting up Eric for an old twisteroo, where he'd once been a barnacle boy himself and became human, then washed up on shore, which is why he subconsciously longed to go back. Oh, also Ariel's mom. Yeah, I don't know, bro. There's just not a world I'd even bother watching this fucking movie because I don't know, man. Musical mermaids is not exactly uh, my content type is dead now or something because of humans an incredibly unnecessary addition unless the bigger mermaw actually ran away from atlantica and became the queen to raise her boy away from triton and that's why she wants to keep eric out of the ocean and errol had a different mermama who really did get killed so as to not spoil all this i was just waiting for all this to turn out to be incest but now nah, the lion king continues to reign <laughs> Nevertheless, with Bomb killed by the humans, it kind of ruins the whole story. Before, Triton was made out as somewhat paranoid and overprotective. Now he's just right. What are you doing? It's a mom life. I don't care how happy it'd make you, kid. We're not playing footsie with them. They killed your mom. They killed my mom. Back to the wreckage. It's also <laughs> oh, heavily God. suggested the siren. That fucking Netflix Death Note movie. Jesus fuck, bro. Call of the Mermaids is the this culprit behind awful. many of these sinkings. Hey, a little trivia for you. Did you know mermaids only make up 7% of humanoid creatures of the sea, but are responsible for 60% of maritime drownings? Them's just the cold hard facts. I'm not saying to get away from mermaids per se, but you know, under the sea, don't breathe easy. Leading me to my next question, and this is for the original movie too, because now I'm plain unsure. Was it ever the implication that Ariel brainwashed Eric on the beach with her siren call? She had the most beautiful voice. I always just thought he liked her pretty singing, and it was all he had to go on to find her again. In this version, though, they explicitly call her throat tuning a siren call. And you'll no longer have that siren song of yours. Which even heals Eric after his impromptu dip. She used that precious siren song of hers to save a human. And that siren call is specifically how Ursula brainwashes Eric. When I was a kid watching the OG, I just assumed Ursula was using her witch powers on Eric while tricking him with Ariel's voice. Now, I don't know what's real anymore. Is it the voice itself? fucking with Eric's mind? They sure make it look like that in this remake. Well, Ursula- I don't even think I ever watched the original of this movie as a kid. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever- Like, this is the thing, is I've never watched, like, Disney shit for the most part. Like, unfortunately, the most Disney I watched was in high school because I was in an environmental science class- and my teacher was, like, obsessed with Disney animation, so we watched, like, five movies throughout the fucking school year, bro. It was, like, the easiest class ever. But, yeah. Ursula resorts to cheating with or without the siren call anyway. She forces her to continually forget she has to kiss the prince in the first place. Just another bizarre, pointless change. What does this add to the story other than an utterly unnecessary roadblock? Ariel sure is fortunate Eric's into dark skin chicks or she'd be screwed. Or, well, not screwed like she wants to be. When he stabs you with his pole. Oh, nope, sorry. Ariel's now the one to stab Ursula with the ship while Eric hangs uselessly from some ropes. I didn't fight alone, father. Eric was with me. Would have been a lot more convincing if he'd done anything but hang around Ari. Hell, barely anyone else gets to contribute to the last act. Eric and human Ursula, who's way prettier than Ariel, like, it's not even a real choice. Well, they have an engagement party at the castle instead of a wedding on a ship at sea, so that fun little clash where all the sea animals gang up on her, that's gone. <laughs> Scuttle gets to smack away the ring, and that's the end of that. Magic. They don't even end it with a rainbow. What the I, I think we get it. Animation. No pride. What the fuck? She doesn't translate well to live action or realistic CG, and it never will. As a movie, The Little Blur Maid is just okay. As a remake, it sucks. If you've got kids, they'll likely be pretty bored by this. Just stay home and put on the 1989 version. Much better animation, framing, more color, better sung songs, better story, superior in every way that matters. You think you're so much better than me. That's the thing, I am better than you. I think I speak for most of us that the only remake we really want to see is of Song of the South. <laughs> Bruh. Come on. Yeah, fucking right. 
Oh my God. On Disney, give us some real black representation instead of slumping on the shoulders of giants and managing <laughs> to do everything. Bro, with. Disney would pay any amount of money to get rid of that shit from their history. Hey, look, I'm over to see. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, the world is not uh, suited for old school Disney at this point. <laughs> Bruh. What was the other movie they're trying to get rid of? Shit. Gone with the Wind, I think it was, they tried to get rid of. I forgot. There's a couple Disney movies that, you know, they're like, oh, my God, it's racist. It's like, who fucking cares? It was made, like, pretty much half a decade ago, at least. Who gives a shit? If not a... Or not half a decade, a fucking century. Like, if not a century ago, almost, at this point. Like, motherfuckers, who gives a shit? Weaponized Schizophrenia with the Two, Song of the South, Watch Party Win. I don't know, man. If only we could watch movies on stream. Oh my god. 2023 Perfect Dark with a 5 for every black person in chat. How many times have you heard our race say, I bought this insert product because a brother was on the cover? 30 plus uh, for me. Really? Have you actually heard people say that? That's interesting. I mean, I know they do it for marketing purposes. I just am not aware of how well it works, but... I don't fucking know, dude. I wouldn't buy a product just because, oh, dude, there's a white person on the front. Like, who cares? <laughs> I don't know. Shit's wild. Shit's fucking stupid. I don't know. All right, so what is this title? Oh, God. Bobby Kotick denies cult. We can check this out a different night, Brett. I don't know if I have the energy for a 20-minute video about Yong Yeah bitching about fucking Bobby Kotick tonight. We'd be up until, like, fucking 4.30. Jesus Christ, man. Let me just do something fun to wrap up because I saw this. I think y'all will like it. <laughs> I think y'all will like this shit, man. A $4.20 tip. Someone says, tell the cat she's super thick. I shall do so. Cumin. Thanks for the money, dummies. <laughs> band, 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 band. The camera's been on the whole time. I'm actually a virgin. <gasps> See this fucking piece of garbage disc? <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. He begging is not a career. Unfortunately. Hello, everyone, <laughs> and welcome. This is my Fight and Feast Marathon to celebrate Bruh. the release of Street Fighter VI. It's time for me to try a recipe out of the Street Fighter cookbook as donated by my fans, the Dutch Brothers. Thank you so much to the Dutch Brothers for donating the cookbook. As you can see, I'm in full festivities here. And this is the first of a few things I'm going to be trying today out of this cookbook as made by my wife, Kat. She's cooking these recipes for us in the kitchen, which is so nice of her. So thank you so much to my wife, obviously, for putting in all the work and time to do this. Our first recipe comes from Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we're going to be trying out today from the Street Fighter cookbook, Yang's Curry Fish Balls. <laughs> Yes. Mmm. Curry fish ball. Now see if someone in this chat made a joke about him eating chicken breasts, he'd be like, oh my God, real mature guys. But he's more than happy to laugh about balls. But if somebody brought up titties or ass, he'd be like, I'm married guys. Stop that. Y'all are weird. 
balls. That sounds absolutely delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> We're trying this today. Let's take a look at this recipe. Pre-made fish balls. Toss it in the microwave for a few minutes because you didn't have to do anything. This may or may not be good based on the balls themselves because this recipe doesn't actually have the recipe to make your own fish balls. We bought these at an Asian market. I don't know if they're any good or not. If these fish balls taste good, maybe this recipe will be amazing. I've never eaten a fish ball before. So I actually have no idea what this is going to be like, okay? I present to you Yang's Curry Fish Balls, made by my wife. So my wife. all that curry and everything <laughs> is pre-made. So they were frozen in the freezer and thawed <laughs> them out. Frozen okay, in the freezer, so you don't say. I'm going to give this say. a shot. I may hey, uh, regret my wife. putting fish balls in my mouth. Oh, God. It already moved. What is it? Is it dough? Is it just fish with gelatin? Like, I don't know what makes a fish ball. No idea. Here we go. Oh my god. It's like intense. Whoa. <laughs> my eyes are starting to water. As soon as I put it in my mouth, it was like, boom. My tongue was tingling in every position. <laughs> my mouth was like, woo, spice baby. And then it kind of went away. That was very unique. A lot of salt, definitely a lot of sodium flavor. Woo! All right, let me eat the other half of this one. Hey, big dog. Woo! It's intense. If you ate like four or five in a row without time, your mouth would be like, wah! The overload of spices. These are not bad at all, and I've never had anything like this before. Okay, here we go. This is pretty good. Mmm. I actually mm. really like this. It's probably got a heck of a lot of protein in it, and curry's not bad for you at all. Curry's quite good for you, right? So this is quite good. Mmm. Yang's fish balls from the Street Fighter cookbook. Yummy. But as an added treat, I owe my viewers a shot of tequila. Fish Watch balls how easy this shit Sounds goes like down. Ah, that's how you make it go down, baby. Refreshing. All right. Guitar player did a super test. How many shots did you have today? I don't even know. I lost count at some point. Likely nine to ten shots starting at like 11 a.m. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Whew. It is time to try the second recipe out of the Street Fighter cookbook right here. Now, this one is interesting. My wife has never made anything like this before. And quite frankly, um, <sighs> uh, I don't really think it works that well. Let me explain. So here's what we're doing. It's called Chicken Bowsy. As you can see, what it's supposed to be is a handmade chicken. So what I want to see here. So... It says the filling might be a bit, but try to I just wanted to see because uh, there is an issue on here. dumpling so here's how it works what you're supposed to do is make the dough you have to cook the filling add it. so he says you got to make the dough cook the filling to the center of the dough and then add it to the center of the dough and then you're supposed to tr attempt to steam the dough in a frying pan all right so keep that in mind that's the steps that he's lining out i was trying to see if i could read it to see if that's actually what it says because just wait just wait. My wife did that. Literally, word by word, by this recipe. Okay, she did that, but listen, she didn't. And when she was done, she cut into it. The filling was completely uncooked and raw. So you're supposed to make the dough, cook the filling, put the filling inside of the dough, and steam it. She did it word by word, and it was raw in the middle. Bruh. So here's what this tells Like, I just wanted to make sure, because, like, I don't know. Team the dough in a center. What you're saying. So I'm just trying to see. Form of the balls. Take a portion.
Yeah, I don't fucking know, man. Is a handmade chicken no dumpling. Idea. So how are you? Oh, I can't read it. First, and the filling was completely raw. So how do you think that made her feel? Shitty. Obviously, either the recipe is bunk, or the recipe is assuming maybe you have like a restaurant grade giant frying pan or something. Like she couldn't figure it out. She did everything the recipe said. So here's what she did. She took them. She did everything right, or she did everything correct. She did nothing wrong. Baked them. Baked dumplings. It's not supposed to be baked. It's supposed to be baked. <laughs> But she did that and it didn't work. It was raw in the middle. You have to understand the recipe you made essentially yeah, my is not life. correct. You're assuming we all have these giant frying pans and stuff to do this. Giant frying pans. Why would you need a giant? What difference would it make if you had a small or large frying pan? That makes no fucking sense. And we don't. We were using a regular frying pan. It's kind of a bummer. That's what I mean. Like she did everything right and it was still raw in the middle. She's like, we can't eat raw chicken. You get sick. You know, if this were a dumpling, Maybe you would dip this in like some soy sauce. Well, it's a baked good now. So you're not really gonna dump that. You're just gonna eat it. It's supposed to be steamed. And it's not because we couldn't cook it that way because the recipe was wrong. What gives? Come on, man. This recipe is essentially if you have like a kitchen. I'm gonna be, gonna be fair. Pretend like it wasn't supposed to be a dumpling, okay? Wow. Wow. The filling is the bomb. <laughs> the filling is outstanding. <laughs> Yum. Mmm. It's sweet. It's salty and savory. It's got spice. It tastes like a high-end pot sticker that you would get at any dim sum restaurant or even Chinese restaurant. It's good. Admittedly, if it weren't baked, would it be a little better? Yes, because it would be moister. Very moist and juicy. Mmm. The dough tastes good, but it's dry. Why? Because it wasn't supposed to be baked like this. The components of the recipe are good. The cooking instructions were wrong. I ate the whole filling. That's really good. I'm going to eat the other one. I can't resist. It's so good. None for cat. Mm-hmm. Mmm, man. Wow. So, Yoon's Chicken Bao. Filling is absolutely outstanding. Why are people... Like, I've noticed this, man. Why are people unfucking able to chew with their fucking mouths closed? Like, I see it and hear it all the fucking time. Like, it's nasty. Why do people chew with their fucking mouth open? Like, it is so gross. Close your fucking mouth. Sadly, steaming ingredients don't seem to be correct for a standard kitchen. Perhaps if I had a steaming kitchen, but why are they telling you to try to steam them in a pan? And what made them think that it was going to cook through? That filling is absolutely delicious. Gourmet level. Don't try to steam it in a pan like they say. They don't know what they're talking about. Get a real steamer. Good stuff. That's two recipes down. Both good. We got one more coming, actually. And I'm curious what the third one's going to be. All right. It is time for our third recipe from the Street Fighter Cookbook. This one is a dessert drink. Cody's Tornado Sweep Milkshake. So, what is the Bruh. Tornado Sweep Milkshake? Yeah, just what Dr. Gout needs is fucking ice cream, chocolate syrup, and fucking more sugar. Milkshake, banana, peanut butter, milk. It's supposed to have whipped cream, but we didn't get any. We forgot. So no whipped cream. We wanted to get cups. Okay, a little story here. We go online to find cups. A pack of 24. Like, what? I don't need 24. I need one... <laughs> We're just gonna have it in, like, a standard glass, as you'll see. So, here it is, you know... Oh my god. It's running down the side. That's like diabetes in a glass, bro. That's a glass. It's not correct. It, you know, if it was a, a good glass, it wouldn't be looking like that. It would look nice, but what are you going to do? So toxic and disgusting. It's seriously weird. <laughs> it's sweet, but then it's got that banana-ish flavor. Very sweet, though. Like, you have to really like sugar to like the tornado sleep milk. Tornado. Wow, you have to like sugar to like a milkshake. I would have never guessed, man. What sweep? I can't say it. Wow, holy moly, it's sweet. It's good, though. Thick and authentic. Oh, it's good, though. Take McDonald's, that ain't a milkshake. That's fake. There's not even dairy in it. 
Yes, there is. I'm probably gonna have to- That's why they're so fucking bad for you. Dairy is really not good for you. Use the bathroom now. <laughs> this is my third Street Fighter recipe I'm eating today. Like, can you just imagine? I love eating my milkshakes, guys. The aftermath later. Oh man, it's good though. It's good, but there's not much to say. It's a milkshake. There's not much you can really say about a milkshake. You know what I mean? There is a crack in the side right there and it is slightly leaking. So I'm going to get a tissue. <laughs> I didn't know. Ugh, look, dude, he's too fucking fat for his costume. So it's like literally so stretched out that you can see his fucking like yeah, there's no crack. I was oh wrong. There's no God. crack. I must have dribbled down the side of the cup. Donnie Watts says, awesome job for the cat. Everything she made looks great. She worked hard today. She really did. She loves cooking. I'm going to be honest with everyone here. She wishes that she could be a part of my content. She knows she can't be because of the negative element on the internet. The moment that she would just step into this office, there'd be 1,000 disgusting individuals saying disgusting things. This is Yeah, Phil's like 200-something pounds. I'm under 180, so... I'm like, I would say probably around, I need to weigh myself again, but I think probably around like 178 would be my guess. 178 to 175 ish. This is her way of having a positive influence without giving the ammo over to the scumbags. You see, it's very nice of her to go out of her way to do something special to help us out today. Not one, not two. She made three completely different recipes mostly from scratch and that's really nice of her to do that i wish she could be a bigger part of my content she can't we know we've seen what's happened for the few times that she even tried it's not worth it but it's good to know that i have a loving wife who cares so much about me and my content that she wanted to be a part of our community today. my wife we owe her a debt of gratitude for the things that we tried out today so thank you to cat my wife for being such a nice person <laughs> this would have never wife. come together if it weren't for the dutch brothers donating the cookbook so thank you very 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 much i really appreciate that all right guys good stuff yeah thanks ryan oh i mean jinx for the super chat or tip whatever uh, thanks for watching mr puppy nipples <laughs> mr puppy nipples but yeah i don't know man oh, it's just the sad life of the sp but I'm going to go ahead and uh, hop off, everybody. It's 3.45 for me, so I need to go to bed. Have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. Peace out, everyone.